Brian. I'm Perry. This is Hidden Plate. Second to my right, star of all things, Blaze TV, the one and only Mr. Brandon Steele, who's had his microphone uh, fall on him. What the fuck's going on there? Deep or, state. Yeah, that's probably the case. Before we get into David, I want to watch this video just to see what our, our boy is up to. Step out the house, I'm dragging. Drag on my eyes, I'm swagging. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Is that... That's just a crack pipe, correct? I well, believe. Well, you know, in in function, they're all all pipes are pretty much the same. You usually, I've seen people use straws for this purpose, but look, I'll say the the kid's got good technique. He's got he knows the fundamentals. Wow. Okay. What a sick life, dude. Well, I hope he's alive so we can talk to him. Uh, yeah, God willing, we spoke to him this weekend and he was still breathing. <laughs> yes, it's possible that was an obituary. <laughs> I, guess, I guess we'll, you guys will know already. An in we'll find memorandum out. of sorts. Yes. A memorial. <laughs> the, the Oscar segments, just him smoking. <laughs> <laughs> Those we lost this year. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Someone I wish we would lose. Uh, David Wilcox. Someone who, uh, who could use a little fentanyl. Who spent the last hour and a half repeating everything he told us last week. Uh, I guess let's just jump into it and hope we, I, we had, arrive at a new topic. He had such a heater to start. Yeah, he was crying about the Matrix. Can't you go back to crying about movies, David? Yeah. That sh movies really are his... That's the zone he needs it to be in. Yeah, that's in him when he's fun. Stop talking about shapes. But uh, the second half... He's got something in his fucking mouth. Take as long. He has to be doing Zim. So anyway, yeah, as I, I was saying, this KHPC thing, oh, no. hell yeah, it breaks down into three uh, You fooled us, <laughs> David. <laughs> that's so funny. He, he ended the last section by saying we were at the halfway point and yeah. we would move on, and then he just goes right back into it. Immediately to the, space, back to the same side. In a minute. And it's the story of Christ. Um... <laughs> Which I normally don't say because I get, you know, nervous that people are going to judge me and they're going, oh, I don't like where uh -huh. you're going. You're blaspheming, David. Yeah, yes. Yes. Christ. And so, uh, as I was telling you before, this story. Just meeting the Pope. Did you know Jesus is a circle? Every single ancient <laughs> mythology there is. It's like people are just obsessed with telling this story over and over again for some uh, reason. Yeah, yeah. People, totally other people are obsessed with repeating uh, why things. Is that? Why does everybody have the hero and then he's got flaws and then he's got to have a quest? And he's got to have a villain. And Why the do people the live? Is, the better the hero is. They this have like it, this, this was driving me crazy when I was reading uh, Synchronicity Key 2. Is he thinks that like life is fulfilling all these things instead of the stories being based on real life? Yeah. Like life existed where there was conflict and stuff and then people wrote stories about it. It's not... We didn't start with the stories. It's not like there was no conflict in life until the first story. Yeah, it's art imitates life, yes. not the other way around. Each other... You need a really bad villain to make a really great hero, like in The Matrix. A.T. Smith <laughs> is really freaking bad. Uh -huh. You know, he can jump into anybody. He's got all these weird abilities. He had a, a gun. So you need a very evil gun. <laughs> and then the hero goes up against David people, has a, a gun machine gun. Many <laughs> gun. 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 I'm going to bust. The <laughs> doubts gun. Gun. Himself or herself or the Stop or I'll shoot. <laughs> lack of compassion. They're too busy. Whatever their flaw is. off in the hallway with Agent Smith. surmount that flaw in order to reach their quest. While facing I don't think I can so bust. I'm telling you, you when the time comes, se, you won't have to. I can't get hard. Take is the facing blue off pill. Himself, <laughs> yeah. That's important. But again, this structure breaks down He's into three acts. He's bending his dick like the spoon. He's <laughs> just moving around. <laughs> totally there is no poon. <laughs> Sumeria. He traces all Babylon. Uh, no matter where you look, it's KHPC. Right. It's Everywhere you look, it's story. KHPC. It's like they're telling the same story over and over again in terms of the leaders like Hitler mm -hmm. or like, uh, you know, yeah. Richard Nixon, Scipio Africanus. <laughs> like Hitler, you they know, or story. Richard Nixon. It's and the Carter, same guy. Carter, I think, actually did even better than he did uh, as Cato because Cato had this thing that he'd say at the end of every speech. It was pretty inflammatory. He'd say, Carthage must be destroyed. So no matter what That's he said, sad. always the last thing he said was, Carthage must be destroyed. And then people would go, ah! And so he was warmongering. Hell yeah. So in that case, I think Sick, Carter dude. came back as actually kind of a better example of himself. Because I'm sorry, he's folks. He's actually looking for peace. <laughs> oh, so you mean he came back as the same person, but did the opposite? Yeah, huh. he came back, he except yes, he, he did the nothing same. the same. Yes, Weird. he did the same stuff, but he, he got a lot better as Carter, I believe. Uh huh. And so Jimmy Carter better than Hitler. Hot why take. did Hot take. Watergate replay the exact same thing that happened with Scipio Africanus? Because You're Richard Nixon didn't Ill. learn his lessons. <laughs> 
Richard Nixon didn't learn the lessons he was supposed to learn, so he repeats the exact same oh, thing. Oh, okay. I okay. see. So this, I see. This is very convenient. It's the exact same, except if they don't do the same thing, it's because they learned their lesson. Yeah, they figured it out. But if it is the exact same, it's because it's the exact same. Wow. The jar, so it's, no matter what happens, it's the exact same. That's the, That's the set, Those are the setups I love now the best. Now he's wiretapping his opponents. They, they catch him, and he resigns. And he resigns at exactly the same time, 2,160 years apart. Hitler does this weird attack on his own radio tower exactly 2,160 years before he killed his father. David, for the love really of God, strange, move on. strange, <laughs> stuff. If you look at the same person Anything with a different name. Oh, Watch a new Hitler, movie. Talk or, about the second the Matrix. Back, well, it's one thing to repeat yourself from a week God, ago. This is from 10 stuff. minutes ago. <laughs> it's very incredible. And the facial similarity aspect is very incredible. It's not. What in the hell are we living in? And I would argue that there's really only one sphere. He's trapped. I think he's, you're right. He's trapped. He's time. stuck so in a time loop. He can't, he can't get out of this loop. Well, I've had this, you know, if you take enough psychedelics, you can end up in like the time loop thing where it feels like yeah. you're doing the same fucking thing over and over again. I think he's just perma fried his brain from insanity and he's stuck in a fucking loop. He's, he's just repeating everything over and over again. Yeah. Heal wars that happened before. What so a sick way timelines, to break your brain. <laughs> Incredible. Things, you can't stop Mike talking about Richard Nixon and Scipio Africanus and circles. If we fix up our planet now and we do what we're supposed circles to do. Circles broke his brain. To the point that we're not suffering uh, anymore and we're not broke. And <laughs> evil is oh. not running free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we're we all suffering now, and broke, David. Yeah. We can save Atlantis from ever having sunk. And what? In their time, now they get to go through something and there's going to be this merging of reality between their timeline and ours and we both end up in the same present after this happens. And the sun goes... When the sun does a solar flash, it's like all of what? time. What? This is, is really rebooted. fucking kooky, dude. And all these ancient processes, <laughs> yeah. variations. This is uh, all out of these there, man. That we see, it's not like there's 12 of them. There's 2,160 years each. There's one of them. Uh -huh. And it's one hero, and it's one perfected soul that we're creating. So as we evolve together as a planet, we're becoming one. I, is he saying, I can't tell if he's saying he's the hero or if collectively we all form the hero. I think... Realistically, I think he believes he's the hero. I don't think he has to believe. He's yeah, the yeah. Hero. I just think he knows. He still knows well enough that he shouldn't fucking say it. No, well, he's too I'm humble. Just, <laughs> the plan I'm so fucking humble. The <laughs> I'm the most the humble. And that's why, if you want to love the earth, you have to love its people. That yeah. was one of Michael's messages to me when I was feeling mostly really down it's men and being trolled so much. <laughs> around 2008, um, I got this very strong message that comes in and says, "If you want to love the earth, you must love its people." And I really, really remember that. It was very powerful. And it changed my whole outlook. And I said, you know what? Even if everybody's going to treat me like crap, I'm still going to be a good person. I'm going to do what I need to do. Well, that's good. Good for and you, David. Yeah. In this case, the hero's journey perfects each of us at the same time. The tree's fruit ripens together. That's the basis of the 25,000-year cycle. It all coalesces. I into feel like my brain's about to start pouring out of my ears. <laughs> in the solar system. I'm having a malfunction. <laughs> Where all of these David's overloaded my software like with retarded stuff. Yeah, my, my wire has come loose. <laughs> all the different geometries have corners that all overlap. I think my brain is just space. trying to escape. That's why it doesn't want to have to listen to this <laughs> anymore. <laughs> it's trying to disassociate. Yeah. My brain's going back to sleep. It's it's up to my physical form will have to suffer through this. That's what the Mayan calendar was built to track. They didn't write a line note in there. I hope he oh, accidentally way, guys, swallows his zen. When you find this calendar, it's <laughs> I gotta go to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> die. <laughs> this is how it happens. <laughs> Most of the mythologies, <laughs> just like Shen, Jesus when he yeah, swallowed yeah, his zen. Said that the mythologies are all precession. <laughs> all the 35 different ancient cultures around the world with these mythologies that Joseph Campbell's looking at. These historians go in there. I don't care about Shen, Joseph say, Campbell. That's all talking I care about, about the Joe same Camel. thing, which is a 25,000 year cycle on the Earth's <laughs> axis. I broke me. I'm sorry, everyone. I've gone <laughs> fucking loopy. He's done axis. it again. It's what really, it's, well, it's uncanny. The stories tell us the sun's going to give off this flash of energy. Some I think it's because we take a, a pause before we get back into it. Again, My mind Matt thinks Matt it's going to get a, so yeah, a well, break. You know, thinks it's over. Ago, and then I subject it to more punishment. It looks like it could happen again. So just panic at your leisure, you guys in your pink suits. There at the AGU meeting in San Francisco. But Panic you're in the pig suit. That I definitely so, wasn't at. Yeah. <laughs> so the hero's journey again breaks down into three acts or four sections. I'm having fun. Folks. Three or four? <laughs> and that, that uh -huh. four section thing is actually etched into the geometry of space and time. Oh, along God. Well, then wouldn't we know if it's three or four if it's already so etched into this time? So Christ consciousness and the law of one is called the Logos. And each geometry that we see <laughs> is a projection. I've heard a lot of crazy shit. I've never heard Jesus <laughs> is a shape. <laughs> tells us the same story. 
the story it's telling us is the hero's it's journey. It's just nonsensical. The story of Christ. Jesus, well, Start what's separation. Not, Jesus is a triangle, and that's the hero. That's the hero's journey. I, I'm, want something yeah, really I don't bad, follow. You can't get it. You go through initiation, then you have a return, which means that you've now okay. healed. Okay, well, but hold on. These, so separation, that's David and Beth breaking up. Initiation... Right. Is David getting the the burial apparition? I I believe now he's just got to die to come back. Initiation. Simple. Then you have a return, which means that you've now healed and you've been victorious. He's like a child who watches the Red Bull commercial and then jumps out the window thinking they can fly. Yeah, he does. Is he just read the Bible and he's like, I could probably do that. I come back to life. In, In storytelling, it's set up conflict and resolution. You have to set up a story between a hero and a villain. I just I don't hero understand and the have to come into what why this has to do with anything. Why does this matter? Yes, resolution. We, we understand story the structure. You don't follow the formula. You have a dark movie. Oh. You can try it, but it won't sell very well. So Hollywood always uses the, the Jews formula. won't buy <laughs> it. Story to be they like happy way. endings. Want the hero to appear to be dead. <laughs> on Keeps page the goyim in, in, in line. line. Like Neo did, causing me to cry on page ninety. It's set up conflict and resolution. It's also right. called beginning, middle, and ending. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, it is. Like I said, the hero has to appear dead for five pages of the screenplay. And that's oh, typically God, called the back. Dark Knight of this the Soul. This is just synchronicity. And immediately Kate. after the Dark Knight of the Soul, which is Good Friday, it's not really good, but ultimately it will be. <laughs> well, yeah. Victory, I mean, the good Easter, part is he comes Easter back. Sunday, yeah. Or Palm Sunday, because he shows you his palms. I think that's why they called it that. So again, the Dark Knight of the Soul leads to victory. This is the whole point, folks. We're obviously the whole in point. the global <laughs> Dark Knight of the Soul is part of the cycle. Comes. We know what the cycle is. We analyzed it in all different KHPC, you know, David, Professor you Fomenko shows stuff it in all like different a, parts a of history. Boston cream we know it's there. Just, <laughs> it's leaking we know that out of them, part of the story even as he records. <laughs> and the villain has He's totally a greedy, won, greedy the boy in that way. He's just, <laughs> the, the, he can dark never get enough. Felt I don't know like when we really hit that, but we're still in it right now. I think in global terms, we're starting to find out from the bottom. But like in, in suicide literature, for example, he's more they say, Robin uh, than Batman. He's more the gay guy in the, the tights. <laughs> what is suicide literature? More shocks that remind him of what the bottom is like. <laughs> it's every time I it's read very, one very of his books. <laughs> in the Oasis Crisis Hotline, books to kill yourself. Two years yeah. Okay, I did this for two years. I did. Uh, we this. learned that people do not. Oh God, how bummed I would be if I called and you answered. Uh, you know what? They, I'll just kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> on second thought, I'm going. just going to do you know, it. I appreciate as much as I'd so love to hear about these shapes. Yeah. I think I'm just going to hang myself. Yeah. Yeah. I look at us right now as climbing our way out, but we certainly haven't gotten to the big event yet. Oh. So the big you event. You going to jail for tax evasion? Somehow related to August eighth and its solar eclipse, and there's all this content. Don't you mean April eighth? No, really no, no, no. That right isn't now. a misspeak. So <laughs> right, right. Of course not. I just have some other things to say. For the love so again, of God, the say them. Yeah, anything new would it's be very much appreciated at this point. Of space and time itself. Okay. Uh, we are living through a dream landscape, which I talked about in other shows. Mm-hmm. No, well, uh, that our hasn't lives stopped you. This one. Symbolic representations. Of the things we need to learn, and so if we're being, if we're being hurt on a global level by an evil force, it's a it's a character sketch of the human psyche. If you don't like that these people are acting like this, then you rise up as the hero. You decide you want to. You do know, I never used to believe that thinking burned calories, life. but so every like the second part wow, of a day what? video is when I always start thinking Earth, about dinner. <laughs> I think I need to get in there. I need to be aware uh, of this. I need I'm to talk about it. I can't hide from it. I very much just want to eat a stuffed crust I need pizza. That's how much your brain is trying to compute. Yeah. It needs so more calories to, to keep up to with this bullshit. Time, and I jumped on it back in 96. I'm on Richard's forum. Mm. And all the, we and already talked about this. Really <laughs> you know, and they just never allow any of these things to be he true. Just, he just, he can't move past it. Can you imagine complaining about a, a Reddit post in 30 years? <laughs> Be like, a two, you know, in 2050, I'm like, look, in 2018, I got into an argument on the r slash faggot. It's a good group of guys yeah. over there. But the point is, there is a villain that is Still really, really bad. Still just re-litigating 1996 that that forum discussions. I was actually right. Yeah, actually, oh, I was wrong, but that's just another timeline because of the circles. And David's gay 69420 was actually (laughs) not correct. The real villain will not be televised. What? They're what? not going to tell you about this. They're not going to give you the straight answer. They're oh, okay. So now, the story. oh, so now it's going to happen. We just They're won't ever have proof. Let you know what's really going on. It's all about deception. It's about lying, and whatever happened on Watergate. Now we're at like times a thousand. It's just that bad. 
It's, it's a whole weird structure of people, apparently up to 4 million of them in America alone, maybe more, and they're working in secret without telling us what they're doing, and they're actually trying to do some really bad things. It's 4 million Satanists. That's is the a real healthy hero's number. dirty timeline that you can jump onto when you're just able to psychologically hold space for the idea that there could be something hiding behind and unifying the worlds of media, finance, Agriculture. Well, if this was true, though, couldn't they just, military. you know, shut off his stream? You'd think so. Said, YouTube is kind of, they would definitely be part of the media complex at this point. They would, the yes. Apparently have taken responsibility to well, try I guess to if they kill him, he'll be too powerful. What they call the <laughs> well, he'll just come back. <laughs> <laughs> they can't answer something I've been reporting on for a long time. When I met Pete Peterson in 2009, I was getting these briefings about an organized, very, very significant resistance because... The alliance, as yes, I like to call was them, lying. the secret group with <laughs> He was Pete, Pete never said anything I mean, true. It's yeah, anything you can imagine. I love and that just he just lied about having like the like, Russian example, equivalent of the Nobel Prize. <laughs> it it was he no. was pretty cool. Yeah. 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 Talk, yeah. I, he Even lied if you don't have big. Any yeah, in the house, he went for it. Windows on the outside are vibrating, and they can shine a laser onto the window, and they can hear you. By translating uh-huh. the fluctuations in the laser light back into audio frequencies. He must be freaking out about the, the earthquake they that hit New York shine today. The Absolutely. Laser into the, water, the glass of water. I assume that, you know, he's I'm going to use that. This. I'm just thinking about it now, like, oh shit, am I giving some? I hope not. I, uh, he's going to be using that as the big event that he claimed would happen by the eclipse, I bet. He's going to use it for something for yeah. sure. But anyway, they can shine an l- invisible laser into the water in your glass on the table, and they uh-huh. can hear your conversation. By listening to it off oh, the yeah, surface yeah, yeah, of the yeah, water. Yeah, oh, okay. They can listen through the water. Yeah, we, like is that why he's drinking so much so, water? Oh, well, he's got to drink it quick so they can't listen to him. When you get into the, the hero's journey, in my water. <laughs> now you're like, wait a minute. What if they've been that is pretty this? kooky. Oh, what that's pretty alliance, cool, dude. I mean, we do have equipment to listen from a distance, but I don't think I don't think it requires a glass of water. Yeah, I don't think it needs a liquid medium. I'm pretty sure you can just use, you know, like a radar type system. The word occult means hidden. And that's so frustrating, you know. Like, when are we ever going to learn the truth? Speaking of frustrating, Again, David, could you this is the, perhaps this is get on to a new is going topic? To the main storyline for the whole planet. Okay. That there was this villain that most of us didn't know about, and there was this hero that most of us didn't know about as well. Okay, and but we have this realization that wow, wait a minute, the villain is real. I don't know like, if wow, the hero the is says, David oh God, or Trump. I think the it's David. Holy now. crap, that's true. I would assume it's David. But the, the hero is real. I didn't even hear about this. Well, they've had to. They Hero, I didn't even movie. hear him. You directly, <laughs> and it's now a Seinfeld the bit. <laughs> call him a hero. He never does any hearing. Maybe we're not going to have <laughs> any access. What's the deal with that? Time, but there's going to be videos <laughs> playing for that. Please <laughs> <laughs> <He's> end it. <laughs> Please the videos put a stop to this. Uh, ref, ref, ref Rhymes, call it off. It may have already happened that we don't know about. And there may be some very significant names that you will be shocked as hell when you see this. Of who is on trial and what the heck they were confronted with. Oh, we're going back to Gitmo. Ah, okay. Under cool. Oath on trial. Okay, this is actually real. And I was getting briefings about it's it all not, the way back in 2009. It's not. I mean, yeah. I, I, it's actually, I it's just not real. Per phone call sometimes, asking questions, trying to find out, okay, is this real? And then I found no. out, yeah, these are the guys who have the You always found bases. out it was real. These are the guys who have He is. He's UFOs, the quintessential ancient astronaut there. He really is. Time, it's time always devices. real. They look through time. They've never said no. Type of stuff. They have all this weird ET-derived technology that they gr- brought in. And then right after Eisenhower, it became classified. You know, David has you know, insiders who have free energy tech. He can't bum that tech from Cosmic them for his Stavati. Would you trust him? Of course not. He's <laughs> not giving you my that time travel device, Bill David. Clinton, you're not no. hear about Didn't even return my plates. I wouldn't trust him, uh, trust him with like a, a personal Bush, recipe, let alone. Yeah. There's a whole world that nobody even knows about unless you get up to level 35, Cosmic. 35 above the president. They never tell the president of the United States anything about any of this stuff that's going on. They don't tell him that there's human good ETs. They don't tell him that there's reptilian, insectoid, and gray bad ETs. I can't believe we're just doing QAnon again. All these different 57 in the year of our Lord, 2024. In the year of our Earth, David. They're not going to tell you anything. We're just going right but back to this. this crazy back to the, the grinder. The time. They've got probably hundreds of different varieties of ET flying saucers that they can pick apart and play with. And... Part of the story is that folks in the classified projects, including Pete Peterson, were building very exotic advanced technologies out of these things that were crashed here, these UFOs, and they're never going to tell you anything about what they did. And these projects have very good money, 
extraordinary budgets, as I said last time. David, you're the disclosure like guy. Vietnam yeah, War, you're supposed to be telling Apollo us. Projects, uh, the nuclear That's why race, we're, we're theoretically listening. Yeah, that's why we're listening. But yeah, as them as not telling us money. is why we're coming to you. And so they don't cost as much as they say. It didn't black cost as much money. to go to the moon. <laughs> and the rest Diddy of the money funded it. Some word to create a line of defense Once for our White Owl, Philly Blunt. Once White Owl, Philly Blunt. They black did not want to tell us Harlem. about in the 1960s for fear of a War of the Worlds <laughs> style panic. The Black Money do Project does sound like a nice those. collab album. Yeah. So this is all part yeah, of like the state fucking, too. Uh, now it turns out that as you flesh out the character yeah. of, of, the, of the hero... That from this mold of the deep New state Cole comes album, heroic people oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. have this weird technology. Yeah. I'm just going to talk about random shit until David arrives at a new topic. I'm just going to listen to they it and figure out guys. how it they circles. Are the <laughs> are sure Do you know J. Cole's okay. a triangle? <laughs> <laughs> I'm following what they're doing. Well, well the shape of a CD is a circle. And then all the songs are a circle within that. That's why they got rid of CDs. They didn't want you having access to circles. Yeah. I had new insiders keep coming forward getting new briefings about this stuff. And finally, eventually, by 2017, the posts started to happen. Yeah, yeah. In October. Oh, oh, and right. we know how accurate and those were. were. Very amazing. Yeah, those went really well for you. really changed everything about my life because now all of a sudden they're just dumping extraordinary amounts of data. I can't believe he really does. So he admits it. it. It changed everything about his life. Well, there's an admission. But, you know, if you were to look back at his life previous to it yeah. and, and look at it now, were any of the changes positive? Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> yeah, I can't think of a single thing that has gone yeah. better for him. It seems to have actually all fallen apart. It's ruined his life. Yeah. And now he's just talking about circles. Well, it was going. So this is the hero now showing up in a form that is veiled. You haven't seen the hero unveiled yet. You haven't seen the alliance say, okay, everybody, here we are. This is what we were doing. That's going to happen. Hasn't happened yet. And it's going to be David. But again, one of the terms for, for, for this group that the alliance grew out of is Majestic. Because the original project was called know, Majestic 12. The first 12 guys who learned about the UFOs were Majestic 12. And I read so many UFO books on Majestic 12, I got tired of hearing about these guys. Perhaps 300. Roscoe Hill you got tired of it. Yeah. How many freaking times am I going to read the name Roscoe Hill and The irony here. How many times am I going to read about <laughs> Amazing. These other guys, they just keep repeating just, themselves. How many <laughs> times am I going to have to hear this library, stuff? They all kind of kept saying the same Anyways, stuff. Anyways, when I was in college, my roommate had a meeting. Depth, and so a number of different authors. <laughs> would all cover the same data. And it got very frustrating because I'd be wanting to read a new book, but then I'd be encountering the same data. And this Majestic 12 stuff, man, oh, so many UFO books had it in there. It was just incredibly frustrating. I have to say that. You have so to. I can relate. At this point, I realized <laughs> yeah. there is something going Maybe on. Maybe time is a circle. We're yeah. just living through his same frustration. Out, yeah, there's this whole world that's 35 levels above Obama or Trump. <laughs> Or Clinton or anybody. We are screwed, and man. Level, Obama, what the hell are you doing, man? Terrestrials, and they're not going to let you in. You can't show up and do anything about it. Richard Dolan brought out a whistleblower who was tasked by Eisenhower. I think it was Eisenhower. Yeah, Truman. but he also said you're Truman's an idiot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was not kind. No, he said you and Gar are full of shit. In here. But we will tell you that there's some stuff here. Go back and tell him he doesn't have a need to know. So was he accurate was about that? If he's... That's really what happened. So within that group of we're 35 levels above the president, we're not going to tell you. There's people using technology that's become a part of their daily lives that you've never seen or heard of. And they have an enormous amount of it. They have free energy. We don't need to pay for electricity. Oh, my God. You can have this little box. <laughs> you buy it for $5,000. You keep it in your house, and your house just runs for Why forever. don't you have You never one. pay an energy bill again. <laughs> yeah. They have anti-gravity. There's many, many craft that can levitate themselves. Then again, yeah. don't need all of them but yours. Equipment. Yeah, why don't you have one? one. Salvatore Pies. Drink your seventh glass of water, <laughs> Dave. The CIA is <laughs> probably listening. <laughs> That's one thing we're going to be talking about next month. This Gotta keep the CIA away. away. <laughs> Not today, a government. A gallon a day keeps the CIA away. <laughs> the hero in the storyline has all this weird technology, time viewing technology. And I so hope they the camera pans down his feet is just in a pool of urine. Studying this. He's just pissing himself repeatedly. He's just wearing rubber pants. That's why he doesn't pan down. They have hover cars. They have weird holographic projection technology. They have instant healing technology. That's the med bed thing. Mm -hmm. Part of what we yeah, found that's on these super real. Was technology where you could have your head chopped off and they can literally grow. I wish your my body head was getting head. chopped off. Yeah, I'd rather take me to the, and yeah. just kind of seal the up fucking the, the, the you have yeah. your head chopped off. This is a put fake your head back onto the death. body. <laughs> yeah. Or even if somebody gets all burned up and there's just a piece left, you can regrow their whole body. Oh, wow. One piece with this technology. Isn't that literally what it is. Even if you just get a piece of their leg. That's enough. This is how bizarre it is to imagine somebody living in the world where they have access to this stuff 
And so with Stavati Aerospace, my goal has oh been that God. I want to <laughs> participate in getting this technology out to the planet. Then why don't so you do it? Yeah, then why are you so broke? I want you to have anti-gravity. I want you to have the med bed. And we hopefully will be able to get all of these things going. We are already making really great progress. And, and They're I'm, not, and they lost their tax exemption. I'm a lot yeah. less worried about the company. We have some, there's like probably three really big things going on. Right oh, now. yeah, yeah, cool. those will all come through. Really but big things. I've never things. gotten any type of ability to see anything. I've never been oh. taken to a base. I've never been taken underground. I've never oh, seen anything. Oh, he's never actually never seen the, the sky, technology. Never in front of me. I've just had certain insiders who were my friends who told me things off the record that they shouldn't have been saying, and that's how I learned all this. Ah, Most I of see. them got in trouble for telling me this stuff. Mm -hmm. So it does make me they uncomfortable still to sometimes to talk about this. But as I've said in previous shows, it looks like we are now getting close to some type of congressional disclosure event. They're getting ready he's, to do he's, a whole story for he's us. He's consumed an entire pitcher very, very of water in an hour and a half. So we are now in this very fast. probably ruined his kidneys with a really stupid protocol. Because you don't know what the alliance is. They only give you little I mean, it can't be healthy for you. clues that they send out. And you don't really know what the enemy is. I just is assume anything side, David decides to do is incorrect. And they keep showing you because this Because I've got a pretty symbolism. high batting average and betting on that. It's a safe stuff. bet. Like at the Grammys, they keep showing you the, 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 the devils and the horns and the right. blood and the yeah, fire and all this stuff. Ice Spice is literally satanic. Why do they keep talking about this so much? Why? Who the hell is a creative director? She called me a bunch. Say <laughs> the best thing they can have for every <laughs> single show they do every single year. Wouldn't somebody get like, oh, well, let's do like the... Let's do like the happiness show. You know, we don't need to do the Satan this year. Let's just pump the brakes on Satan. Let's do like the ponies. Yeah, can we chill show. with all the Satan? We're going to have little girls riding ponies. There's nothing what? bad about it. You know, Hollywood is full of pedophiles. Now, I want young women, <laughs> young girls. <laughs> I want little girls on ponies. They're going to have, I don't know. It's, it's just going to be this whole different thing. We, we, we don't need to do Satan this year. No, no, no. They do it every no, freaking no, we year. Need, uh, yeah. Young we, children. You didn't think we that need little they, young they girls in. Well, it turns out it does. It's, it's something they're doing. So that both sides are somewhat visible, but still mostly cloaked from us. And I as feel I like said David before, could be a this decent is actually drag the way queen. it is in every cycle of history. I mean, he has the flamboyancy. Even back in Scipio and he loves time, singing. I'm sure there was yeah, some he could do the talent show aspect. He likes pretty clothes. We knew about. And we know about <laughs> Yeah, he likes dressing up. They yeah. captured Carthage and they brought in Ball. Bale I bet he could get on RuPaul's gods, Drag Race. And they made that a part of their secret tradition. Do I look like a circle? <laughs> so there's always been this stuff that's secret. That's part of what the cycle's about. There's a secret negative side that's demonic, and there's a secret positive side that's angelic. Well, it's and not secret if you're talking about We've still it. got 5,000 people watching after two hours. Thank you, guys. Hell yeah. Hang in there. We're getting to some big stuff here. Okay, don't, don't hang up. You really don't want to leave the show yet. I hope you mean that. So I was talking yeah, about the geometry, the dreamland. I feel like we've been journey, sold a false the bill of goods. Yeah, we were told this was and fresh. Each time we make a cycle across the geometry, we're, we're telling us okay. ourselves the same story. I think I got it right. So again, we've got these five platonic solids. So we're we're living in one of these, and it's filled with the rest of these, and we're just we're just living tetrahedrons and cubes. Tetrahedron, tetrahedron, wow. All over. Octahedron, wow. octahedron, and cube. They're associated with I'm the pretty sure it's so icosahedron, not ether. icosahedron, but, uh, you know, tomato, tomato. simple yeah. wireframe yeah. diagram. Let's call the whole thing off. And again, this is the pattern of the way that photons run. There's this fluid this, throughout the whole universe. Tesla was onto this. Sentence. Some people called it the ether. This idea that there's a fluid-like background in the universe. Isn't that weird? Well, yeah. And it, when it vibrates, it creates these geometries. And so <laughs> that's where atoms and molecules come from. All we are ultimately made of is these photonic geometric vibrations. That's and as I've said before, Professor Henry Markman found true. that when we think in our minds, <laughs> what? the same geometric patterns are appearing in the actual groups of neurons that fire off simultaneously. Go back to crop circles. Uh, millions of them <laughs> yeah, I never thought we'd see brains. the day. Oh, really God. This He's is fucking, the it's the shapes. He can't stop talking thought. about shapes, whether it be cross circles or before, they all crop together, circle. I can't even talk. Like this. God, we've got these again. We literally saw this last <laughs> week. It's the same N64 graphics. This has to be almost slide for slide exactly the same. I would s probably like a solid three quarters of this has just been shit we saw last week. Even for David, that's here. a lot. It's a low um, bar. Well, I, which is why in the heck did they make these bronze dodecahedrons? Oh, well, that's a new question. In the Roman culture. So let me read this to you. The enigma. The Roman dodecahedron is a small object <laughs> made of bronze, but more rarely stone. The N word of the Roman culture. <laughs> faces, each face is a pentagon. Five sided. They're all dodecahedrons. Roman dodecahedrons <laughs> are also embellished with a series of knobs. Isn't that weird? On each corner point of the pentagons, 
The Pentagon faces in most cases. I forgot what I was going to say. I had something to say, and he just stupid it it away. Yeah. He really does lower your IQ. It's not spirited away. It's stupid. (laughs) Or why do they build it? What is its function? Me is sucky. I'm going to show you what this looks like. I know you're waiting for it. Roman (laughs) Dodecahedra dates from 1860 AD and typically range from smaller sizes of 4 Ah, centimeters wide to 11 centimeters (laughs) for 1.5 to 4.3 inches in size. Uh, So the biggest ones that you're going to see are going to be about like this big. You can hold, so all of these can be held perfectly within adult human hands. What? The highest that they get, again, <laughs> these pay attention to this, the widest they get is 4.33 inches. Can be held. So you can easily hold one of these in your hands. Right. To date, well, more David than 100 knows about 4.3 of these. Yeah, David knows about Roman holding things in his hands. These are Roman settlers. They colonized Come. Great Britain, Belgium, Germany, France, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Luxembourg. Austria, Switzerland, and Hungary. They found over 100, and those are just the ones they were able to dig up. Uh-huh. So the you want to show us a picture of these things about. so we know what the they fuck you're talking about? Around, and we don't even know why they were doing it or what they could Oh, he doesn't forward. have any. Oh, okay. But there was over 100 of them they dug up. And so Let this me... is what they actually oh, look like. Okay, I was about to Google it. Now, this is a little guy. Again, it might be an inch and a half wide. It might be four inches, four and a half inches He's talking wide. to That's his penis. Yeah. yeah. You're a good little guy. He's a little guy, about an inch and a half. Little fella. And then we have some more examples. So They do kind of look like medieval Pokeballs or something. I finally they were what trying I to think catch is going them all. On here, and I believe that when we go through Maybe the first David wave of the century, it was a really good idea to have some syphilis of these makes you lose your mind. You would get that from a male prostitute. You sure you, would. They were made out of bronze. They could be made out of silver if you want to do a really nice one. They could be made out of gold. But I believe that people were holding these. Let's go to um, one. People were holding these in their so hands. Who is he telling that to? <laughs> and when once we go through this first let's wave of the century, which is apparently going to happen by next year. You will be able to use this device to funnel energy into plasma spheres. The plasma sphere forms in the center of the device, and then it shoots out through one of the holes. And so this actually could become something equivalent to a self-defense weapon. Okay. It is interesting that when you look at them, these are like uh, one of the theories is you know it looks as if they they have a sighting kind of thing. It's like you can tell how far away something is. What? That could be because people use on they guns? use it to target These are plasma the area guns. where they want to shoot their energy. Wow. You get the distance right, you dial it in, you have the right face. Well, that's up, new, I guess. Whatever, you know, however yeah, far I've away never it heard is, of the bronze laser guns. You hold it differently in your hands. You send your energy into this thing and the the metal just like in a pyramid, it actually conducts your spiritual energy. It's a oh, dragon it's ball. a spirit gun. Spirit, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. The line through the hole. They were shooting spirit energy. And so this that's is right. an example cool. of one that looks like they only did half of it. No, that Maybe, makes sense. Again, yeah, that's yeah, because yeah. in this case... Yeah, that's got to be what the Romans just like yeah. a big flash That's what I thought. Straight out through the front. You, you know, you think there'd be some sort of mention in history like that, about okay? it. You could blast the image. The Roman laser guns? Right yeah, yeah, yeah. The no, I thought so, too. So, again, I feel people like don't really know what the heck was this used for? Why were they carrying this around? Why would people travel all this way from Rome up to, like, Germany or England and carry this the whole way with them? This four-inch, four-and-a-half-inch wide bronze sculpture? Well, to shoot people, I assume. Why would they care? For gun purposes. And isn't purposes. it weird that this sculpture is now associated with all this cool physics about the solar system and the spacing of the planets? But it's not associated with it. You just said it was. Well, yeah, I believe well, David what we're looking doesn't. at here <laughs> is a wave guide for your own psychic energy to help you wow. make plasma spheres and plasma lasers. Well, he figured it out. I'm saying right here. What the fuck? So each one of these, uh, that may be their function. And my point is, once we go through this solar system change, we will have conscious access to spiritual energy. He's really focusing in on the laser amounts. gun aspect of so ascension. Now I want to get back he into likes this lasers, story dude. Oh, journey, no. We are on <laughs> Easter. What? Well, a story is written into geometry. Now I want to get back into this story. We got to talk about we shapes. We, we haven't touched and on I want it to get enough. The show pretty fast here, so we got to talk more about now, shapes. But you've heard a lot of this already. We but sure have. <laughs> at certain geometric locations on this sphere, which we can then flatten out into a Maybe circle. he's trying to get us to kill ourselves. So Joseph Campbell this again, could be inoffensive. Yeah, this is he's really fighting back. In his book called "The Hero with a Thousand Faces," that there's all these different Death cultures. Death by a thousand slides. Same mythologies where there's a hero's journey storyline, and there's a flawed hero that goes up against a villain. He's dead for some point. We, yes, for five pages. You already, we literally <laughs> talked about this in the last episode, not not the last week of episodes, literally what you heard on Monday. We already yeah. discussed this, and now here we are. 
discussing it again. He's the villain. He returns to his people. We're only two hours him. into this. Does he not remember talking about it? So again, this is a way to look at the story. Does, uh, yeah, he's Joseph got like Campbell's version of it flat some sort of Alzheimer's thing <laughs> going on. Is he having Bogler, like an, a manic amnesia? Writer, very fascinating book. That'd be so sick. So we're going to read the <laughs> he's just, he's so manic, above. he so keeps again, forgetting he's writing the same thing over and over. This is the three-act story structure of set up. And why did you talk about lasers for a minute and then come back to this? It's also, you know. Beginning Enough about ending. boring laser so guns. Let's talk three, about Joseph Campbell's hero's journey. Yeah, the laser guns were retarded, but at least you were getting into something cool. This, this is because in the mythological tradition, when you go into the Act 2, you're now in the magical world. And that's a different place where magical things happen. Where your wife occur. doesn't leave you, <laughs> and the government can't take everything you own. So you see, the dog's not about to die. Act 1, it says, Ordinary world, call to adventure, refusal, meeting your mentor, crossing the threshold, then once you're in the magical kingdom, you have tests, allies, and enemies. We've you gotten to the point where he's paved. just taking like uh, movie exactly writing books and saying so that's what's happening. Pretty, pretty much, yes. Down, and it happens exactly at the middle. The hero either appears to have Stop won, reading about screenwriting, David. You're never going to get a exactly movie made. But please start doing that. <laughs> I'd prefer that content, you have reward, really. Seizing the sword, the road back, resurrection, that's David Easter, written movie. and then return with the elixir. Now, sometimes resurrection Maybe we can do like a radio play with him. Uh, an audio again, only. It can happen yeah. right on page 90 as you enter Act 3. We already talked these, about page uh, 90. I mean, we did do a table so read of his old, this, as his old uh, script. Some type of super oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're going to keep going through this I pattern sorry, of I have uh, experience in that. I used and to go to the, gotta take the line that it's Museum of Radio as a child, the to the end, and I would record radio shows there. And this is the Wheel of Karma. And a lot of people Because I was a fucking dweeb. of... Okay, in this case, it's clockwise. The hero's journey. Uh huh. Why is there suddenly the a moving background world, on this portion? Supernatural aid, he was feeling flirty. Guardians, mentor, helper, revelation. Uh, transfer. We can barely read it right now. You wait for that light to come in. Transformation. Yeah, you should have thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> you thought it looked so cool. So here's another one that's easier to see. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, just, let's just look at it again. <laughs> Guess what? In case you that's forgot it from right three now, seconds ago. What a microcosm. Just literally the same slide back to back. <laughs> so again, Just what I'm trying so to tell you is that these are geometric locations along the Where am the I at my hero. hero's journey? I've reached my threshold, on, I guess. When you're on a planet, this is our return. This, now I'm waiting for a you helper. Hit these areas, you have to experience these things, or at least within your own country. Different countries sometimes are affected by different cycles. And that was one of the things I found in my book. How is that possible? So again, to make this into a three-dimensional Oh my god. You got Act 1, Act 2, Act 3. In this case, it's well, in case you missed it, it the first two times. Ah, uh, Dave. World, call to adventure. <laughs> this is That's act one. Now brutal. Going 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Why is this one going counterclockwise? Okay, same thing. You fucking and accidentally again, mirrored the image. Oh, of it. God. Uh, what? Sort of like our, our own <laughs> what? psychological what? curve. Why? So what is... Grief why is he doing this? What's going on? Just four slides in a row of the same thing. I don't I don't understand what's happening. God this damn it. Well, in case you didn't understand it the first four seen. times, let's go on to the fifth. You have the call to adventure. Six. <laughs> this is only part of it. Supernatural, whoops, supernatural beings show up to, to get you to want to do it. You finally enter the magical world. That they I haven't talked to enter. a supernatural owl yet. Then, no, uh, me neither. The belly of the whale. Is that Moloch? From your known world. It looks like it. Like let's go to Bohemian Grove. I could go really for swall getting swallowed by a whale. the world inside the whale's stomach is a magical world. Not in the regular world anymore. Inside the whale, you're in this whole other place. You're in a whale. That's the second act. So you get swallowed. Or something yeah, really yeah. Bad. <laughs> yeah, if the and whale you swallows going, you, you're in the whale. It can be a lot of things. It's just an archetypal name. Okay? Oh, oh, it's oh, not it's a not trial. Silly me, test, silly me. I thought we were all going to live in a whale. Oh, oh, my mistake, Dave. One of these tests which often occur in threes. There is a meeting with the goddess where you experience a love that has power and significance of the all-powerful, all-encompassing, yeah, unconditional love that a fortunate infant may experience with his or her. You mother. know, the only thing I can rationalize this is Temptation, David trying to explain uh, away why he's suffering. May lead you to abandon uh, I, from I do your think quest. that's part he's just of it. desperately father, searching for this why this is happening because it can't be his fault. Well, it, and we do see part of this in what he was saying earlier, which is, you know, whenever something doesn't go the way he wants it to, it's not because he was wrong. It's because the timeline shifted. So yeah. before, when everything was going to go well in 2020, that obviously didn't happen, mm -hmm. but not because he was wrong. It's because the timeline shifted. But now that he's suffering, you are correct. He now has to find a way to explain yeah. how come I didn't know this suffering was coming. And it's because of the hero's journey and triangles, which yeah. makes a lot of sense. Well, no, he's suffering because he has to. He has, it's part of the journey. Yeah. 
actually now one of the really cool things that Joseph Campbell had, that the villain is the father. And so... You mean like uh, Darth Vader? <laughs> George Lucas goes, well, cool. Yeah. We'll call him Darth Vader, Dark Father. See, I, I see you, Dave. Yeah. And so the whole movie Star Wars... He loves based Star Wars. This stuff. He wishes... So I mean, that's where he gets most of his, you know... You don't just Belief kill him, in this bullshit right? from It's not him. like that's what's happening. And what happened in Empire Strikes Back? Luke atones maybe with David's his father. Maybe saying he's going right? to kill his father. Or maybe it was Return of the Jedi, actually. That'd be I funny. Think it is, yeah. With a the plasma emperor, gun. The emperor became kind of like the father figure in that sense. But just go Ed Kemper. Again, atonement with the father. <laughs> You Cut your mother's head off. Yeah, that fuck her throat. Yeah, that'll show her. It's part of the father hero's father trip. <laughs> that's the resolution. Yeah, yeah, that's the dark <laughs> night of the whole. <laughs> Got to decapitate your mother and yeah, fuck her yeah. corpse. And put your penis in her mouth. <laughs> yeah. The see, there's a the mouth right the there. Oh, the there it is. You see, wow. why is it a sensual mouth? Wanted. This is the hero's All of journey. These steps serve to prepare and I don't like the way that mouth this looks. <laughs> so this is the global ascension. This is the first wave. That's a man's mouth Hostasis, for David. The ultimate yeah, boon. With Kool-Aid on All its lips. That's how David licks his lips when he's a hot fella. It looks like an ass with teeth. All those three things happen. You confront it. Just how I like it. Just how I. This is my favorite. So then you got the ultimate boon. It's getting very, very spiritual now. I'll replace that B with a C. You'll never believe what color Jesus was. Ordinary world. Magic flight. Sometimes the hero has to escape the magical world with the boom. Black guys from Harlem. Adventurous and dangerous, returning from the. One of those looks like a roasted duck. Oh, I think it's an elephant. Well, we'll get to that in a second. Then we have rescue from without. Then there's a fish with a happy monkey. Life if they've been wounded or weakened. That's a very crucial part of the story. Retaining the wisdom and there's a wing, the quest, integrating the wisdom into your and then there's a dog yawning. The rest of the world. <laughs> and or is also that a, the magic a puma? Tech, let's just go back to that for uh, a second. You've I can't seen the tell. Movie Alien, a nice. Lot of the screenwriting books Finally. That movie it's such a sad story. <laughs> <Sigourney> Weaver plays <laughs> the, the Weaver. female character. <laughs> and after she thought she had defeated the alien, when the movie looks like it's over, mm -hmm. there's what they call the alien in the airlock. That's what you call a twist. And this is where yes. in the phase called that's Magic part Flight... Of the where it says it might be just as dangerous to return from the journey as it was to go on, ah. that's because you find the alien in the airlock. Something bad happens to you on the way out. You've already learned what you needed to learn. Okay, You're so digging this, out from the bottom, just like, again, the literature. This is where David's at in his story. Ah, he I is, see. He's bottomed out by being a bottom, but now <laughs> he's going to dig his way <laughs> out. Of, I learned about the thank you. <laughs> it's not at the bottom that people have the crisis. It's when they're digging out from the bottom, and then they hit that alien in the airlock. And they're on the way out, but they, they're on the way out of the magic yourself, world. You call the hotline that's fucking... But you get another level of resistance. It's I very heard you said for shapes. <laughs> okay, so you see, you're on your so then, hero's uh, journey <laughs> right now. But if you kill yourself, you'll come, come back to life. <laughs> so you actually can't die. <laughs> death is a figment of your imagination. It's just a cycle. Time is a dodecahedron. Can I speak to someone else? No, they're busy. are reaching the Easter he probably point. didn't even work for the hotline. He probably just put his number on, up on like flag <laughs> If we're ever going to hope to solve this, and as I said, neither the hero nor the villain is visible to us. This is the weird. No, no, you're pretty visible to me. Yeah, that jacket's about as visible as you can get. You can't tell them the story. They're going to laugh at you. They're going to ridicule you. They're going to assault your character. They're going to tell I've you. I've made a mistake. That was the wrong you. button, but it's okay. Because they don't want to believe there's this organized negative group. And they were making fun of me because I had special abilities. <laughs> there's people who actually have you want to laugh at me? That's the one I was looking You know, the funny thing is, they're not going to tell you what it is. But you know, by the time let's this comes out, we'll know good. whether or not he was completely wrong so, about the solar eclipse stuff. We're supposed to be able to fly. Well, today's the sixth or no fifth. I'm sorry. So six uh, Monday. The way, yeah. So yeah, this will uh, several days ago. You guys will already have, uh, do have to understand seen if the, the problem, world ended. I wanted to film a skit where was someone thinking they got superpowers from the eclipse and then they try to fly. And just like throw a dummy off a building and have it just <laughs> fucking it. eat it. Uh, this was a major disclosure from Kevin Ship in 2017, and he's a high-ranking agent. Oh, we're back to the, the Tyler Durden website. And I also opened up the movie uh, Moment of Truth with him. Very powerful speech that he gives. You can see here he is he on looks Fox News. Fucked up. And he dropped some explosive <laughs> stuff at this point. He looked lit. Right before, a month before the post started. <laughs> And I think this was all part of the same initiative. Ooh, zero hedge. A CIA whistleblower, Kevin Shipp, has emerged from the wolf's den to expose the DS and the shadow, which he calls two entirely separate entities. We're not really going to get into that. He can write the words, but he can't say that, them but, aloud. Okay, maybe. Well, I guess the CIA the is in his water. The they hear that. Yeah, they're listening. Our government but they can't behind read. The scenes. 
Oh, for geoengineering.watch.org. <laughs> the top of the shadow is the blah, 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 and the blah, 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 he said. And again, what's interesting here is these are the two agencies at the top, but the, it's in shadow. It's not actually negative. And it turns out that the... He somehow goes into, like, Adderall mania thinking the posts, without ever doing anything. For the good. So you there has to be something groups. spurring this. I mean, I think it's probably... Technology. Yeah, if and you got off meds, it's probably just pure mania. Yeah, I Something must have been, time, you know, mellowing him out. It's one way you can look at it. It would explain the ridiculous fascination with shapes the CFR yeah. and the no random swings and emotions. And well, he doesn't CFR seem like stoned. No, he's just crazy. He that the and I guess mania would make sense if he's eating Zins. <laughs> and controlled all of the other 16 agencies. It's the cool way to chain smoke now. Of the DNI. That may have been what it was before, but as we said... In maybe the second to last show, I showed you some slides from Shadow of Ezra, which is a new insider source. I would literally love you all... to go to that instead. Shadow, he's Shadow of Ezra is not an insider source. It's just a Twitter account and a yeah, place just, on Telegram. It's just an anonymous person on Twitter. Yeah, he's just calling someone's tweets an insider source. Yeah. Main intel is now gone where they're dropping it. No, it's not like they're all being controlled. There's been changes at the top. And it's only these main three organizations now, the one that starts with the FB, the one that starts with CI, uh -huh. and then um, right, right, DO right. would be another one, right? Uh, and then the J at the end. So they were talking about okay. those. So the, the FBI, FBI the CIA, so this is not true right. anymore, the DOJ. but it was true back then, which was really scary. The but again, Department there's been of this Jews. weird, <laughs> quiet revolution that's going on that we didn't hear anything about it. No, that's right the IRS. Yeah. That's what he was saying at this time. Yeah, they already got one of them. <laughs> The agency also controls defense and intelligence contractors. It can manipulate the president and his political decisions. Yeah, they're the lobbyists and we pay them for torture, war. Initiate coups, commit FF We've attacks, known this since fucking 9-11. According to SHIP, the DS is comprised of the MIC, intelligence contractors, defense contractors, MIC lobbyists, Wall Street offshore accounts, the Fed, IMF, World Bank, Treasury, Foreign lobbies so just, yeah. Everyone oh, in the government is the deep state. In the shocking explosive presentation, he went on to express there are over 10,000 yeah, secret see, sites we, in the yeah, U.S. Yeah, exactly. 9-11. Wow. I wonder if that was used in 2020. I'm just putting it out there. There are 1,291 secret government agencies. Well, what? they're not so secret, 1, are they? 1,931 large private corporations and over 4.8 million Americans with a security clearance. Also, 854,000 who have top secret clearance. Wow. Explaining they signed their lives away and are bound by an agreement. Then how do we find Pause out? Pause a second to just kind of take that in. There's 1,291 <laughs> agencies? Holy crap. There's almost a million people who have top secret clearance, and they can't say anything about what they're doing. They can't say top, anything about what they're doing. Top secret clearance? Almost that is their point. They talk about they have gay secrets. Okay? Well, so, the, what's funny is there was those twinks who got filmed banging each other's ass in the talk, congressional the chamber. Gives you a really yeah, nice top overview secret. of the scope and the depth of the problem. <laughs> It's penetrated through all these different uh, things. Like it is penetrated. Yeah, you do. I don't even have the gay jokes in me, right? Now. <laughs> control, media, He's taken our plan. spirit. They yeah, he really has. Sports. They control big agriculture, et cetera, et cetera. No, they control it's big scary. sports. So now we want to talk about it. the shadow posts. These are the main comms nice. from the alliance uh, that I believe has been happening since maybe two years ago. I need some of Javi's perk for Yeah. <laughs> which are called, again, The Posts, and now they're doing this. <laughs> and I'm very convinced that this is authentic. Get the foil. they validated themselves so many times. If I remember, we and should I really have foil you prepared to for tomorrow's episode. Yeah. So we can... like a quarter million views on a lot of their posts lately. So I'll wear a foil hat. <laughs> what this represents is the outcropping of an organized Maybe that's where the phrase originated. Tin foil hat was just a guy who wore a hat of foil he could smoke from. It was actually a square. Yeah, it was just practical. This is this picture. This was the original post when it first came up. Okay. And you can still click on this link. It still works. Oh, Project Camelot. Warnings, it's there. Wow. And he said there was a German SS officer the most by the name accurate of Galen. watched my movie, this is right at the beginning. Okay. Carrie Cassidy, who may or may not be a clone. Yeah, because she's getting uglier. <laughs> Galen had a continuing organization that continued on past World War II, substantially involved in lots of nasty stuff, and still is today. And she says, One are they set up in this country? Lots of he says, they're set up stuff. all over the world, but they mostly answer, if not to the I, dot, 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 that's the only place I know uh -huh. that they answer to anybody. Most people all answer to the I dot 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 if there's any power in any country. You can't call, say Illuminati. So yeah, either. I don't want to be ridiculed for Ill. using this word because here's a high-level insider who's using that word, and he says that's what everybody re replies to. 
That's what it's actually called. That's what they want to be called. Okay. I mean, it's a cool name. They've got the branding. It's already built in. They got the merch already. The control system that integrates all the big finance and big tech and big agriculture and big media and big pharma. And all these things are part of this one thing that has this strange Italian name that has to do with (laughs) brightness and illumination. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, folks. Yeah, the strange Italian name. Mm-hmm. That is what the DS is, okay? The dick suckers. So then They're she all asks a bunch him, what about Italians. Majestic? Do they get along with the eye dot dot? Goddamn Italians. And he says, according We've to my the information, the Majestic and the eye are not seeing eye to eye over the idea of triaging what did we like the population the Mexicans? in order to bring Just it down Mario. to a workable level where it's safe to have We need to get the mushrooms. And as he goes on, you find out Majestic is the one saying, no, we don't want to toast a whole bunch of people. Ah, Luigi, we have to overthrow the country. We want to bring it down. And they're calling it triage, right? Well, triage is what you do when you're in a crisis. It sure is. You clean up big, bad crisis. Okay? He says, we're approaching a very high number, around 7 billion, and they would like to triage a bunch. Wouldn't it have been easier for him to just play this fucking clip from Project Camelot rather than reciting the transcript? You would think so, but he never seems to be able to pull videos. They're not I've in noticed. favor of mass blank just pulls, blank by blank like blank. screenshots. They're killing they're killing us with AIDS. Well, the gays. Damn. Oh no, they're not like in, in favor of mass assassination by AIDS. Can you even oh. believe what you're seeing here? He actually They said decided this. not to. This is what they were planning on doing when he said triage and this was in 2006. And remember, it's not just viruses. Wait, but it's AIDS the didn't get worse for the virus. since 2006. Is that treatment safe Gotten or not? Well, maybe better. a lot of people are now saying that it isn't. Yeah. Maybe that's becoming a really big deal. Maybe they didn't want it to be safe, but they have to be careful. So it's not instantly effective for everybody. It's only, you know, something's going oh, to take a kill long time. Slow. And you got to get a whole bunch of I get them it. Mm-hmm. To add up. Almost like so it's your natural lifespan. Right, they didn't expect right. they were going to get any resistance. They thought everybody would have to take these. And perhaps oh, each one he's is going to saying, systematically weaken your health I even got more. it. Okay. The, that the, could be what it is. The this vaccine is exactly was what he AIDS. was talking about, oh, how they wanted to yeah. do it. Yeah. I actually think there was some in Australia that they like accidentally gave people AIDS. That. Technology of germs <laughs> and all this kind of <laughs> That's stuff. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> 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 you imagine yeah. getting yeah. a vaccine and like, well, I got fucking AIDS. The doctors come in, well, I got bad news. You don't have COVID, but you got the HIV. Triple letter agency I hope you're not guy, super the attached to T cells. <laughs> yeah, I'm friendly with a couple members of the uh, Your I'm life is ruined. Sorry, bud. Well, the good news is you're going to lose a bunch so of weight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Secret war between Majestic oh, no, they're actually free from being sued. Oh, God. The deep state, the DS, the, that I'm talking the, about, the, the eyes, that I'm talking about, the uh, are now uh, emerging ills. from this secret hero side of the war. It's in the military. It's in the intelligence community. You're not going to see it. They're not going to openly announce who they are. They have to communicate in symbolic, coded right, language. Right, yes, they have to communicate Aren't you happy yeah. to watch in the shapes. Show? Isn't this great? I'm it's super happy, to get a lot Dave. Crazier. Oh, it's now so it's going to get a lot crazier. They want to, you know, have them go play with Legos or something. You want some yes. children around? Please bring them to me. All right, let's just Loop them up. <laughs> it's getting pretty close now. And David's getting close. He said they were very nasty last <laughs> year. We almost ended up killing each other. Every time I think about children. because of the safe house agreement that protected me and saved my life. So I'm very, very indebted to the blankety blank. Well, yeah, there you go. You can't even speak on the CIA. So now we're going to talk about some stuff that nobody wants to learn about. And back in 2012, this was the story, okay? This guy, Jimmy, and his last name starts with an S. Wait, that's... Oh, Jimmy Seville. Yeah, I was going to say, and then Jimmy Seville. He's wearing these crazy glasses, and he's all... It says Who would have thought what he was doing? BBC, you like, never guessed it. Look at him. I'm going to start saying David's his reincarnation. <laughs> He's the reincarnation of Jimmy Savile. But this guy was the head of the top music video television show that got people turned on to the Rolling Stones, got people turned on to the Beatles. No, he turned got people, people on, turned on all right. To every cool British rock band, you name it. They were on this one show. And the name of the show was Top of the Pops. And so <laughs> this show... Yeah. Featured Mick Jagger, featured Paul McCartney, featured We understand John who was in those bands, Elvis. David. I mean, you name a name, and they were like on a, that like show. Like a remote for the children. <laughs> who did they stand with? Who was the host of the show? <laughs> there you go. That's Thanks, the host Jimmy. of the show. Okay? You know, I, I like them like young. to show this, but like, if you Jesus. could ever smell a photograph, I could smell, I can smell this photo. That's because you I have know exactly in your what nose. it is. <laughs> I don't want to be around it, okay? So this was the whole thing. <laughs> David's <laughs> remembering the smell yeah. when he was molested. Really yeah. I still remember that scent. Just putting that out there. It's so vivid. So then uh, he this smelled thing started like British around cigarettes. October 5th, 2012. And and that's what he kept calling me. Sure. And it led to the BBC director resigning on November the 10th. Oh, the big black cock resigned? Yeah. 
Quits is in a sensation. Director General. How mad do you think the Brits are? We took that. Yeah, we really fucked it. We turned that turned them into a porn category. BBC Radio. Yeah, I guarantee if you ask most like Gen Z, what's the BBC? They'd be like Big Black Cock. Lord McAlpine over false claims. My favorite category. It's just a penis talking to a microphone. Today on NPR, and it's just a huge black dick. Someone animate that for us. In a dramatic statement at 9 p.m. last night, he resigned following pressure from senior government sources and it's within the BBC boop itself. Penis radio. <laughs> so then these are some other links. Uh, they are in the worst class. Uh, word penis radio. Welcome to penis so radio. We're sponsored by. We're, we're paid for by user by listeners yeah. like you. Another one that I found on October 25th: a tsunami of filth has done terrible damage to the BBC. This was all before he resigned. I'm just showing you the headlines right now. BBC is hope, hopelessly in crisis. Hmm. Police prepare an arrest strategy as the case grows. Wow. Uh-huh. An arrest strategy. That was in the New York Times. Isn't that interesting? No so who was the one. previous Jimmy the Yeah, said that's, they that's were what I'm wondering. By JS, one of his, one of his say country's Jimmy most Sample. popular TV hosts, expanded from 200 to 300 in just the last week. Well, he so also fucked forward. dead people, though. Other people may have acted. Yeah, he was a weird Scott dude. He was a real twisted said, puppy, Thursday, yeah. Jimmy Savile. And then on January 13th, 2023, we find out, lo and behold... Our Did we find this out? Friend here, you know, I mean, is every pedophile rape, actually satanic, right or are they just doing, you know, bad I things? Found it on Google just today. Probably won't be there for long. Yeah, I don't. But he was part of this. S David, rape. that's from January thirteenth, twenty thirteen. What do you mean you just found it on Google? Yeah, I don't think he was satanic. I think no. I, rape, I think he's just a says, pedophile. JS beat and ard a. Beat he does look like if John Lennon had gone bad. S yeah, he's R the bizarro version. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. This is the link. You can go find it for right now. I'm not saying it's going to stay there. He Star absolutely hurt our, robe our and a criticism as of that. he hurt this person in a candlelit basement. This is one of the things he does that drives me fucking insane. What Jimmy Savile did was already is really fucking bad. Yeah, I think it's really bad that a guy was going into like the children's cancer ward in the middle of the night and raping the kids. I don't approve. I don't think we got to make up this part where he was, you know, satanic yeah. and doing rich like Sneaking into the hospital and fucking corpses and children is already about as bad as you can get. I feel like it's actually worse if you don't do it for, you know, ritualistic purposes. Yeah, he was just doing it to, uh, um, he, yeah. he has no, no <laughs> grander purpose. Maybe he David's right. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he as is other worshippers joined in I just, and assaulted. I've never at heard the Stoke that Mandible portion Hospital of it. In Buckinghamshire, in a secret room that they didn't Hell, let anybody know about oh. where this was going on. Fucking sure. That was unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. it actually came out. That's what he called yeah. it. That happened in 1975. Fucking That was his little Saint James. Yeah. He had a castle where he did diddled all the children. Bouncy castle. Yeah. Yeah. Soundproof. From this age yeah. range, starting all the way down there up to 47. Yeah, he had a good run. All time so he kept run, the really. hidden for nearly 20 years before finally opening up to the therapist Valerie Sinison. Why do you say Sinison that name like we know who it was? Spoke to, to the person in to sound smart. Quote, she had been a patient at Stoke Mandeville in 75 when he was visiting there regularly. This was one of the places he paid for to set it up. He had 26 of these different facilities. She recalled I'm pretty sure he had like a trailer outside so we could just sleep there. The lowest level uh, of the hospital yep. somewhere not regularly used by staff. Hmm. Several adults were there, including this person who, like the others, was wearing a robe and a mask. There you go. Okay, but she a hospital robe is different than a satanic robe. robe. Yeah. Inside. He was not the leader, but he was seen as important because of his fame. He's on this very huge television show. He is the, you know, the director of rock and roll, really. Uh -huh. Dr. Sinizen, who directs the clinic for dissociative studies in London, said, quote, Now another victim came to me in 1993. She said she had been lended out as a supposedly consenting woman at a party in London at a house in 1980. All right, well, I don't have as the much sympathy for prostitutes. The first part of the started off with a blanket blank, blank. everybody's doing their thing. But halfway through, some of the participants... You gotta tell left. Jimmy no. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jimmy, wanna be Jimmy wants to party, and you gotta tell Jimmy no. What word? Oh, orgy. It started off with an orgy, but then halfway through, some of the participants Just left. Jimmy Savile being fed <laughs> Molly. Whoever sticks around, what's gonna happen next? It's not gonna be good. Along with other young women, the victim was shepherded to wait in another room before being brought back to find him in a master of ceremonies kind of role. I don't feel like I have the sex party personality. Robes and masks. No, I, I wouldn't like she it. Too they make Latin it seem like fun, but I don't know. I'd go to eat the crudite, but yeah. I don't yeah. think I'd... I might go to hang out, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if she I want to participate. Abuse and was extremely vulnerable. 
Oh, no children Both for me tonight, Jimmy. No, I just, I just want the hummus. The yeah. of psychotherapy and disability <laughs> while she's involved She's in known for it. Jimmy yeah, makes yeah, it yeah, fresh. Yeah, yeah. She was fantastic. Admitted during <laughs> family recipe. Religious ceremonies. <laughs> She said both these witnesses did speak to police at the time, but they were vulnerable and on encountering any surprise or shock, they did not dare to give the details, so the police took no action. She added, he was still a huge celebrity in the early 90s, let's not forget. He had very well, look, if you wanted to be big in music. There was never any music. action taken against him or any of the others involved. He had to make a deal. Neither girl knew one another. They lived in different the parts devil. of the country. They contacted me a year apart, but their experiences are very similar. Whether he was a practicing S or merely enjoyed dressing up to scare his victims even more, will perhaps never be known. Oh, okay, so we don't actually have stuff. evidence. Yeah, you got to be brave to take that leap and see the, the villain in the story. But this is a very dark villain. We're talking about the guy who's on television. He's, he's you know, leading everybody into but he's already dead. Like, and, oh, here's the Beatles. Here's the Rolling Stones. So who's here's the villain Jagger currently? For the yeah. Devil. Pleased to meet you. Hope you guessed my name. Right? Like, hmm. All right. Hit it, That's Dave. That's than I thought it was back when it first Hope came out. Hope you guessed my name. Just call me Lucifer, right? He says that in the song. It's like, whoa. Call me Lucy. So, okay. They're I'm putting this stuff in their lyrics. One of the Rolling Stones albums is called Goat's Head Soup. They're on the show with this guy. Oh, and rock now music satanic. I can't. I was just, he literally just other. came to that, that conclusion. They both experienced wow. being taken downstairs into this room. He's a parent from the 1950s. And, candles, and chanted. It's all that devil music. So and if again, I shake my hips, I'm going to be the children. He had 26 of these. They all had one of these that special rooms. That all works, rooms. Jimmy. Well, he's shaking it so in this a specific is like really shape. Really <laughs> he's doing it in the triangle. He's doing the triangle. <laughs> the triangle. <laughs> when you realize if I do it in a pentagon, does that make it work? <laughs> schools, they can't the resist. One, two, three, four, five. Now, this That's how many children he fucked. Now is the Tinker Toy time, okay? Keep on coming, Jimmy. Have your kids play with something. The funny thing is Elvis kind of was a pedophile. His wife was 14. Well, let's put it a different way. There was no kind of about it. He fucked a kid. Yeah. No, it's illegal. And being woken up. Okay, hold on. This is, I believe this is going to be the David rape dream because it starts the right way. Some of the memories, well, let's put it a different way. I have dreams uh -oh. of being mm -hmm. in my school uh -oh. uh -huh. and being woken up uh -oh. uh -huh. uh, and then taken down the hall uh -oh. in the ass. We open the door and we go down these stairs and we go oh, into the no. basement. Oh, no. Uh -huh. Things happen in the basement. Oh, in no. Things happen. Ah, and geez. then what I realized is that you could be drinking your milk like they have you do. Oh, the God. Oh, he got that... drugged in his milk. That wasn't milk. No, that would get me. I'd be fucked if they poisoned um, my milk. I would drink. I didn't want to drink the chocolate, so I drank the... <laughs> oh, <laughs> your racism <laughs> got to you. And you're still basically a baby, right? In kindergarten, you're like five years old. So yeah. as soon as you yeah. drink milk, your body says, "Oh, I've been nourished. I need to go to sleep." No, I oh, never went to. I never napped as a kid. The baby because there's these. So he just thought he was going to sleep, or is he saying they asleep? drugged the milk? I think he's saying they drugged the milk. And everybody, this all American public schools, they do this, right? This is all the of them. Now, They're it? all so. drugging the milk. Okay, wait, hold on. David is saying the school system itself is a satanic entity, and when kids have nap time, what actually happens oh, no. is all the kids get fucked. Damn it, I loved nap time. Wow, well, wow, it's because they got you. I mean, not me. I never fucking slept during uh, nap time. You kept time. your eyes wide open. I, well, yeah. You knew it was up. I knew they were out for my ass. They <laughs> fooled me. Just bear with me. Everybody drinks their milk. Then what did they have you do? You it's so funny that David got raped. He's like, everyone gets raped. Yeah. <laughs> he went single... from it being a traumatic thing. Yeah. Like, actually, in you know, in retrospect, it actually happens to all of us, right? Everyone in America. You, got, you guys got raped because you drank the milk, too, back. right? And this is about <laughs> how th these are the clothes I was wearing. What? Right. No way. Okay. You know, it's it was slow for the first two he, and a half hours. He turned hours. it on. He turned it on. But David breaking out the rape right clothing. See, he just okay. needed to get out of I the loop. Oh, God, is there going to be blood on it? This is my little uh, Maybe some flannel gum. pajamas. <laughs> do you think pajamas this is real, or do you think he just bought children's pajamas? I don't know which is creepier, but this is why... This is insane. Do you have any of your baby clothing? Not on me. I don't have any. I don't even have pictures of me from when I was a kid, yeah. let alone my fucking clothes. My my mother might. Or my rape clothing. Body experience in. This is the top. This is the onesie I wore when I got fucked in the butt. What? Yeah, <laughs> there's just a blood stain on the ass. Yeah, there's just a <laughs> hole drilled into the back of the pants. Uh, this is this is unhinged. This was the most profound experience I'd ever had <laughs> in my entire life. It was when I was uh, five years yes, old. Yes, being molested. Uh -huh. I floated out of my own body, and I got scared as I started to feel like I was being taken somewhere, and I popped back into my body. Uh -huh. And now later on, I've wondered, did I go into some type of UFO experience after 
the part where I freaked out and I seemed <laughs> to wake up in my body. Either way, I, I would like to point out, as someone who's read all of David's books, he has never said that before. No, this is fresh. I woke up in these pajamas, uh -huh. and I never wore them again. They became my sacred pajamas. Okay, so <laughs> what? I've never actually Woo! showed this before. All this right, hold guy on. But football on here. Woo! It's but if red. you were, if they were your sacred pajamas, you'd wear them all the time as a five year old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to dress up as a Power Ranger constantly. Yeah, I had a shirt with like Alvin and the Chipmunks on that, yeah. that, that I wore every day. No five year old is like, well, I got to save these for a little future <laughs> live stream. Yellow. <laughs> but I have this always in my sock drawer. Now I'm probably going to put it in the safe from now on. Now that I've showed it. Oh, yeah, you got to do but, that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put this in the safe. Because now, someone might now, break in and steal your oh, clothing. What drawer. form of the traumas is that you Everywhere keep the went, outfit you've got in molested in? The reason I never washed these again and the reason I never threw this. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're not washed. Okay. There's DNA evidence then. <laughs> Take some said, to the police. Yeah. Did I float out of my body in these pajamas? Well, what they is drugged the magic your milk. secret about these pajamas that they can clone themselves? I'm going to put them back on. Did you just hear that? They clone themselves. The pajamas can clone themselves? What is the magic secret about these pajamas that they can clone themselves and that my body still wears them when I'm a ghost, but my body is also wearing them in bed? There's two pairs of pajamas. Wait, Woo! what? He... I don't even entirely understand what that means. Okay, I think what he's saying is it wasn't like an astral projection thing. I think he's saying he literally duplicated and then flew out of his body. So he was wearing, there was a second pajama. There was a second shooter. <laughs> he was wearing the same pair of pajamas in his ghostly form. So it means they had to duplicate. So he apparated away while his physical body was diddled. Right, so it'd be, you know, if I was somehow able to float out of my body and I was standing over there but wearing the same exact clothing. While being diddled. Yes, yes, as well. You had to watch an, a grown man <laughs> play with really your really butthole. So again, I actually <laughs> saved this. And then in the same year, two years later, actually... Uh, Having this, this at your house, is this is insane. Is this a Mickey Mouse vinyl? Parents. And this is another thing I read. I didn't oh, have the original calendar, one, maybe? I lost it. But oh, he did buy a new one. A Mickey Mouse <laughs> calendar that has these various pictures in it. And when I was a kid... I was reading this book on ESP. That's what I looked at while I did it. <laughs> month by month, and I was writing down in the calendar the psychic experiences and synchronicities that were happening to me. I would write it down month by month on this calendar. How do you have the clothes so and not the calendar? Pictures, yeah, that's weird. Of, like what I saw from when I was a kid in this calendar, it just blows me away. Do so, you think he was going to give that to his child, but it never like, had one? Saw, yeah. Okay, I'd like to point out that this scene on the calendar is very similar to the scene David describes when he's in the uh, school auditorium. So oh. maybe as a child, he was looking at the fucking pictures on yeah. his calendar and then had dreams involving those images. Yeah, as they do. But what do I know? From when I was a kid That's in this calendar, reasonable. it just blows me away so freaking much. <laughs> and I was having weird psychic events that I documented in that calendar almost every day, and it was this out-of-body experience that was the incentive. I did I'm not so five. sure I believe that a five-year-old would start keeping yeah. track of their psychic events, and I certainly don't believe that if that was the case, David would not have mentioned it until right this it's this moment to be doing premonitions at five yeah he would have absolutely brought that up particularly because he has told that story about the esp book repeatedly yeah nothing happened for two years i got pissed off and i read books on esp to try to get it back so i could get another chance to float out of my body <laughs> because i kept having these dreams of benevolent positive angelic humans oh they were good who, dreams you know turned into obi-wan kenobi after star wars in 1977 and I would yeah. have these loving, long conversations with these beings, and I'd feel so wonderful. Because your parents were And it's were only terrible. now that I'm doing this micro prophecy <laughs> stuff, as of starting in 2022, that Michael tells me, yeah, you know what, God, you had this parallel lifetime as a kid <laughs> where UFO-based technology was used. So when you floated out of your body and you're wearing these silly pajamas, oh, he wasn't here's the bottoms again. Molest you know, or wait, is this now. why he turns into a banana because he's wearing yellow? <laughs> you may be right. I, I don't know. Banana sandwich. I not. Racist? I, I, I don't know what, what this is. I don't know what he's doing. What is the purpose of this? I don't know, but he had this plan very thoroughly because he had the pajamas. I, that was my pants. Okay, that's all I had. Okay. That was my height. I never threw them away. Oh, he's crying. So when I was getting taken out of my body like that, sometimes I, I was those going pants. somewhere. <laughs> and then very bad things were happening. So oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were his rape pajamas. Oh, like okay. Sometimes I was going somewhere. And then very bad things were happening. Yeah, so again, okay. yeah. If you're in kindergarten, you're lying there. Don't uh, drink the milk, milk children. <laughs> children, I'm here today. Tell you to just say no to milk. <laughs> just say no. The dare program. I dare you to not get fucked in the butt. <laughs>
Okay. So but just, if you do keep the pajamas. <laughs> first of all, he should have started with this. This Absolutely. is the A material. Yeah. The, the A material is that every school in the United States is drugging and raping our children. And somehow none of us are aware of it. That's why you got to get your yeah. kids out of public yeah. school. Yeah. You, you got to homeschool. Yeah, you got to be the one to rape them. Yeah, you don't want somebody, you don't want a stranger doing that. <laughs> it's traumatic. Maybe Look what happens. Things and maybe you go with them somewhere else. And maybe you'll... Wait, they're hypnotizing? Let me... Okay. He then starts to say things. And if you are potentially hypnotizable, maybe you hear those things and maybe you go with them somewhere else. David, maybe you'll never give me your ass. For the rest of your <laughs> give life. me your ass. Well, guess what, folks? I have dreams suggesting that this happened to me. Oh, no. The story oh. got even crazier by April 19th of 2013. What got crazier? Wait, wait, is he saying he got fucked 1,300 times? No way. Or is he talking about how many victims Jimmy Savile had? Where now his number went all the way. Okay, That's thank okay. God. Up to 1, that would have been excessive. <laughs> yeah. The think first 1,340 the times. But, yeah. And think about how many different times. How I many like that David's are there just realizing like one of the days, most prolific all, like pedophiles what? in human it's history 40, was a bad guy. Years. I know. Like, have you guys heard so about this? Like I didn't realize he was this crazy. Yeah, he was the oh, Wilt Chamberlain yeah. of Literally. rape. And, it, you know, so they're thinking, wow. I mean, that's just a staggering, staggering number. Okay? So it could be up to 1,350. The police officer who exposed him said today. Operation Y Tree, I'm not even going to say it out loud, which is looking into U-tree? allegations of crimes against That's the That's how I would pronounce it. As well as a host of other celebrities. Why can't, why, why can't we say that? 450 people uh, saying something happened to them. Holy the, crap. the deep state is monitoring the his stream. Spindler, of course. The Y investigation until earlier this year told an NSPCC conference that as well as those who came forward, there were probably double or treble the number who haven't. And here's another Treble one. the amount? Uh, this was November 10th, and it says the director general of the BBC sensationally quit tonight in the aftermath of the scandalous reports. Well, when you platform a pedophile for yeah, decades, one. <laughs> yeah, after 20 few years, years you, like you should have figured it out. Yeah, I think. Especially covering it up. Yeah, in, in not good. Okay, but this John happened 12 years ago. In a dramatic statement at 9 p.m. last night, so why are we following pressure from going over it now outside of? In 2021, we learned that he was actually creepily licking. The princess? It's so gross. Well, yeah, he was a he pervert. Inserted himself yeah. into their marriage. He was Perverts are going to do perverted things. During his lifetime by engaging in charity work and establishing Maybe relationships Maybe David's going to claim that Jimmy figures. got him. However, in Thursday's That's what I'm thinking. claimed that the princess recoiled from him while the prince was that has to be the connection. avoid having him around. <laughs> now it's possible the prince didn't know anything about this other stuff. That is actually oftentimes how they do it. This He's the guy that has all the do. access <laughs> to the rock stars. <laughs> and 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 <laughs> and what they will do is they will keep you in this trap where you don't know all the other stuff that's going on, but then they just bring you into something that's like a fun party, and that's all that you know. And maybe you have other stuff happening, but you might be under hypnosis. I just thought you it was a party. Doing it. <laughs> I'm honestly telling you, some of these people, even at the highest levels, they don't Paul, even know. Oh, I thought it was just Jimmy's party. Because they have a split personality. <laughs> what were you doing with the kids, Paul? What's happening. I think he's saying some celebrities are being hypnotized into doing the raping. But... I shouldn't have drank the milk, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a Kool-Aid? So he just has gallons of milk. The princess uh, added K. Huh. He licked her hand, and she recoiled as she told me. Maybe it was that's very, what the milk was in Clockwork yuck. Orange. But he was well established. That makes sense. Circles. That's how they hypnotized him. Yeah. By being so established, he was untouchable. British people At give time, us milk and Chuck then fuck gullible. us. I'm saying with hindsight, he was That's why gullible. we left. At the time, he was gullible, as was everyone else. <laughs> That's what the war was about. Then yeah. Out he had regular access George to Washington was like, now nah, we can't keep doing this. <laughs> Stop <laughs> giving us your poison milk. Yeah. Uh, you want to tax the tea, that's fine. But you keep raping my ass and poisoning the milk. I can't have that. This is a free country. At Stoke Mandeville Hospital. Oh, nothing bad's ever going to happen at Stoke Mandeville Hospital. <laughs> There's no secret room in the hospital that anybody could ever go into well. with candles or anything like that. Oh, they the had the satanic the room in the hospital. Oh, well, yeah, it's basis. convenient. Oh, That's very convenient. Yeah, it's not looking good. Uh, His claim was part of the handwritten. The worst part about satanic rituals is needing the room. It's so funny. That's like it's not looking good. Like, yeah, he got arrested, David. Yeah, we know how this ends. It looks terrible because it is. Oh, he just watched that on Netflix. That makes sense. That yeah. See, he literally just finally saw this movie. If you want to, I mean, it's horrible stuff. Just blown away by a fucking seven-year-old documentary. Well <laughs> oh my god! Public image due to his many visits the to people need residence. to know. Just holding his pajamas. Shows, <laughs> he can't get you anymore. He can't get you anymore. Come out about the king, 
Or maybe he's not. Oh, we're back to anymore. okay. Yeah, well, let's just go back to repeating him. shit from now, last. Uh, week. I mean, the king does have cancer. Movement. Yes, he's going to die. He's treating it with like warlocks. Also, also I mean, like eighty-five. Yeah, he's old. It's a very strange synchronicity that that's what happens to old people. They die. In my experience, daughter is in England, and she wanted to see King Charles, and she saw him from five feet away. And he was waving at her and smiling, and she was crying and jumping up and down, and very, very happy. So I know he's alive. Oh. So that red X cannot mean that, because okay. my own whistleblower firsthand oh. saw him from five feet away. He was waving at her, and he was smiling. So he is around. Don't you and think remember, people are wearing masks? We talked about the British royal family has ended. Yeah, I don't know how he squares that away. We're on yeah. our fourth so fucking Joe Biden, <laughs> but they can't do a fake king. And there's only one king. So then, remember February 22nd? That uh -oh, Dan Scavino. No, no. Which had this hilarious Stop bit it. from... See, he uh, doesn't Chris know how Farley. to bring up the videos. But this he talked about this Chris Farley video last week, too. He's one of my own main comic inspirations. And then it's 59 seconds He was long, also molested by Jimmy <laughs> Seville. Read that number. And this one really did I wish up. David met the remember, same information fate. information is everything. The flow of information is no longer controlled by the media, but by you and uh -huh. others. Uh-huh. Hence, why we are dedicating critical time to distribute these crumbs, which can be followed in greater detail to paint the entire picture as more information Crumb. 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 I, <laughs> I got to get David on with Alex. Whole hero's journey thing. Oh, yeah, yeah you it's definitely need to. I got to figure out how to do that. How scary the villain is. Uh, why has POTUS dedicated so much time in do it from the media's fake What's news? his name's account? Why Don't do it from relevant? ours. We are fully prepared that all social media will be shut down to prevent the spread of He doesn't know what show you work on. No. You probably wouldn't oh, even recognize if I just tag. The problem is his messages are turned Sealed off. Federal orders, I'm going to have to tag oh, him. Are they? Which will be yeah, I'm going to have to tag him and do it. And will be masked as in general, Unless I can find his contact doesn't account info. For rogue Get Alex to tag him. He noticed David's Dates intention. Dates pending actions are deliberately provided. It's true. For authenticity, Alice in Wonderland. And sure enough, after they had the post that, uh, you know, Dan Scavino had telegraphed an AOL out outage, then the next thing Who's you know, still there's still using AOL blackout on February 22nd. That, really <laughs> that was a fascinating proof. Then they posted this thing on February 25th about uh, it says, Behold a pale horse. The name that sat upon him was Death, one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. We found out that the pale it's horse represents the king, oh. but it's never usually brought out alone. The king or the queen has to be on the horse. Then the very next day, they posted this. One of the four wow. horsemen of the apocalypse, wow. and it's the head Rothschild guy. They predicted a, so an old whoa. man would die. This was like a hundred-year-old man right died. When he disappeared. Who'd have thunk it? They Unbelievable. Say he's no with us. Oh, they say that. Well, again, Charles is with us because I had a witness who was five feet away and he was waving at her. But when they're doing this parade with the horses and stuff, this totally suggests the British alliance, the alliance in Britain, was was involved in this somehow. And then they posted. You remember the picture of the Fed? That it's all boarded up on the outside with all this. Yeah, we remember from last week. Material over it. It says <laughs> there was also just a very big heist in L.A. the other so day. So like I'm watching fucking Dragon Ball Z. It's, it's just nobody told repeated, us this openly, yes. right? This is not public. And then I got very excited on the 18th. Yeah, the climax the scene. Climax scene <laughs> in the movie v for David loves that one. Yeah. And at the end, this is my you favorite part. All the British the Parliament, shot. Big Ben, it's all going up in, in you know, big That's how he's trying to pay off his debt. <laughs> I need takes more off money. This mask. Well, only fans. <laughs> this com mask, slash David mask. Big Cock. Okay, so this is it's not really big. He thinks the name is literal. When you do it, someone comes on your face and get money. Am I more? Am I rich now? Working to expose and defeat the Federal Reserve and the occult cabal of bankers and Industrials who run it. There you go. I have fucking He's, like that's a post so from was, him. Uh, this was <laughs> one of the. <laughs> you are correct. Posted by David Wilcock, August uh, twenty third, on David's blog. My my insider. So this damn, was, we gotta like clip ourselves uh, and be like, look at this amazing video. They had many many cons. I've talked these about guys them think just like we do. Yeah, uh, wow, these fellas are smart. Previous live streams. But now I want to share with you some new stuff because Ooh. one of the things. Oh that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that this in Intel's a three-hour video. You want to start the new stuff around the two forty-five. Yeah, mark. that's how you do it. From now, the shadow of blah 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 had said. I have earlier completely swept that through they were my going shirt. After very it's high yes. Targets <laughs> it's now. so going hot in here. Top of the pyramid, the eye at the top of the pyramid. Maybe it's right? all the fiery well, truth the David is bringing. Out, He's spitting that heat. Yeah. Was so disturbing. It was on March nineteenth. Oh, where the head of the fight. sea airport got into a firefight with federal agents. Okay, let's dig in on this. Let's dig in, Dave. Wait. Bill and Hillary. Oh, oh, oh. executive director Bill and Hillary Clinton Airport shot in the head by federal agents. Oh, I see. Is that true? I didn't hear about this. I think that did actually happen. Oh, okay. He got in a shootout. At first, I thought it said that Bill Clinton got shot in the head. 
Okay, let's Someday. dig in on this. <laughs> It's scary, but again, I'll make it funny as much as I can. So you don't <laughs> oh, have please do. PA. By all yeah. means, Ryan make it Malinowski, funny. Ryan the executive Punch it up director of the National Airport, was, you know, hurt by federal agents and, you know, sent to the hospital. He had a head Damn. injury following a firefight at his residence in West Little Rock. Early Tuesday morning, around 6 a.m., BATF agents arrived at his home to serve a I wonder warrant. what they were raiding they were for. gunfire from within the house. He had dirt on Hillary, Arkansas dude. Arkansas State Police <laughs> confirmed that M was the, the individual the who fired on the agents and prompted mm -hmm. them to return. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Woo. Woo. The specifics of the warrant and the woo, reasons woo, behind woo, their involvement woo. in Malinowski's residence. <laughs> what a strange part to get excited about. Yeah. Authorities have refrained oh. from commenting further due mm, to an mm, ongoing mm, investigation. Mm. Why would you be going after this whistleblower unless you want to have him rat out the top? You see what I'm saying? And then they said we're going to go kind after high-value targets I and don't. pray <laughs> because many of our operators are going to be putting themselves in harm's way. And then it was just a couple days after this that this comes out. And they said this. Again, the British royal Legos, family. Legos, we also says, saw this last 146,000 <laughs> views. Yes, we did. Well, the we new material Ron was great for the, the 20th. Yeah. And it lasted. Well, we now saw this, this on too. The 20th, on Wednesday. And we had this very strange thing. Yep, happen. we saw that too. Smoke yeah, yeah. And there, the community the note. Oil. Yep. And, uh, you know, we talked about the big pharma shills. And anyway, they, they the Ides of March. Yep, we saw these too. Black smoke is when somebody dies. But it's also April now. Look, it got 12 likes. Um, so oh, that's this big is really, really interesting in the truth community. <laughs> and then we had this post where he says, move slowly. Never announce your moves before you make them. Yeah, boy, do they love their uh, dumb that sounds memes. sounds like they're getting ready to do something, doesn't it? Like the lion is getting ready to strike. Maybe Ties they should have done something post. in the past move eight slowly, years. Move slowly, carefully, and then strike like the well, fastest When the time is play. right. Yeah. We won't telegraph <laughs> yeah. our moves. We Any moment now. Any moment. day yeah. now. Does this mean that there's going to be some type of physical military activity? Probably not. Maybe there is, but I think it's going to be very limited. I think everything is already happening. Oh, but okay, that's convenient. Kind of a final breakthrough point here, and this is why, again, maybe FAA is warning, hey, there might be air travel disruptions during this eclipse. That's cool. And there's all this weird... Uh, this is your captain eclipse. speaking. <laughs> it's and, uh, too so dark for us to fly. There were satanic pedophiles on the wing. <laughs> Did you know Jimmy Seville was <laughs> monster? <laughs> <laughs> Take off in about 20 minutes. <laughs> Take off your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, what happened to David? So once again, this this is all kind of really scary stuff. I mean, oh, it's like, he's Whoa, focusing what are you guys on really his computer. Saying? Oh, I thought he was crying yeah, too. Yeah, we had this uh, direct warning of something going on with April eighth. Um, Pretty sure that got FEMA, community noted also. To do with, you know, Probably. disasters. So are they going to try to do something to hurt us? We don't know, but it sure looks like there might be. David, something you like told that. us we'd be able to fly and, again, and shoot um, lightning out of our hands. Trying to say, oh, this is nothing. there. It is, yeah. But you know, there there are a lot of weird cons associated with the eclipse. Yeah, that was the, the FEMA thing, which he also the tried to last week. The alliance then said the week. world is ready and the stage is set. This was, a, I think, pretty much where we left off. They had this song called "New Alliance." Even the camera is quitting again, them. The date was March <laughs> I know this one. Okay, so they're getting ready to do something. To that New thing. alliances. The stage is set. The very next day, we had this Russian missile enter Polish airspace, which probably didn't want to happen. It's like World War Three fears all the way. Everybody's so afraid. I'm uh, not. And they did this massive attack. I mean, yeah, it, well, I mean, it probably wouldn't affect so me much. That could be a to something else happening there. Maybe I'm just they, stupid, but I'm not so worried about World War III. Yeah. yeah. If it happens, I mean, there's not much um, I can do. So again, I have I'm too old to be drafted. Who cares? I'm actually doing an event in Loveland, Colorado. That wow. Kind of by accident. At the Loveland the best, the best, the best Western. Goodbye, Diddy. They posted goodbye, D. And then, whoa, they posted a picture of him with a former president. That's what David calls him. Holy smokes. Yes, Daddy. This thing broke out two I had to days get him after they said the world is ready, the stage is set. And back again around 2012 or so, I'd written this article on JB and the weird You can't say Justin Bieber? Okay, this is the original article, 2014. It's called Decloaking Lucifer, a holographic angry child throwing a tantrum. We're almost yeah, done that's Justin that Bieber and that's Diddy. Promise. How old was Justin Bieber in 2014? He was like 17 years old. Uh, yeah, he couldn't have been more than 18. So this was the first two tattoos that he had on his oh, damn little yeah. arm. Yeah, Moloch. Wow, There's an no owl hair, and no an X. Doesn't Biden's daughter have an owl? Anyway, mm, no this, arm hair, just like owl. David likes him, nice and smooth. With nothing else there except for the Kai symbol. That's the Greek character Kai, which is usually associated Kai with Christ. Sinat. It's almost mm. as if he was trying to decide between Kai Christ and the owl, whatever the owl means. Well, we know what the owl means. It's associated with the Bohemian Tootsie Club. Pop. Oh. oh, okay. Okay, so there it is. <laughs> right there on the oh, arm, okay. next to the symbol for Christ. Mm. First tattoo we got. Why would this be the first tattoo that he got? Well, one of them is Did the first tattoo. Yeah. Something <laughs> you can have well, two it's first weirder tattoos. As he goes on, because then he has this tattoo that says believe, and we have what looks like a, a king. 
like a royalty or maybe a knight templar i mean he is like a born again christian he is yes he goes to that weirdo church in uh, la but look at what he's doing he's plunging his sword yeah the one where (laughs) where their minister was was a, a sex pest well, yes. Uh, isn't this? I took this to be, you know, the guy removing the sword from the stone, kind of like that famous story. Look, that's what it looks like to me. I mean, you know, a knight in front of a castle. A Not that he's stabbing that the, the rock. Cross with blood coming off of it. Oh. He's crucifying the earth. Oh, he's crucifying the planet. And that's right on the other side of his <laughs> that arm. That makes more sense. Flip it yeah. over, there's the owl. Okay. Can I just point out, uh, Just sometimes we get lost in how insane this all is. Uh, interpreting the future from Justin Bieber's tattoos is pretty fucking kooky. You know what it's up there with is that fun book I got about how Jared Leto was the Antichrist. <laughs> yes, it was that's where we are. His tattoos and lyrics. That's where we've approached. Hey, maybe they want him to cover that up. Maybe he was too on the nose. Yeah. So now he gets hey, all this yeah. stuff. But the this guy is state. plunging his sword into the earth, and the earth is bleeding, and it's right there on his arm. Justin, I mean, you got to get more tattoos. They don't know we fucked your ass. And then after, <laughs> after he got that done, then he got another one, which was actually the Eye of Madonna. And just and to prove to you Chester that it is, Cheater, here's the where... picture he probably got it from. Oh, that's the one he probably... Well, yeah, I mean, look, there. You know, that's probably Madonna's eye. David has a very bad issue with recognizing that all people have faces. Or he, or he's a very good schizophrenic. Yeah, that's that's here's also a eye. definite possibility. It looks pretty darn similar. Somebody's Tell us how it's a circle. <laughs> all eyes kind of look similar. We go all night, we love it. Well, we're going to stop at three hours just because people get scared of that. But anyway. Oh, yeah, we're terrified. Do you think that looks like the same set of eyes? I sure do. I mean, just do some basic pattern matching. Like, yeah, yeah, I think that is. Mm-hmm. So isn't it interesting? There he is with Madonna. Yeah, look at him. The hundreds, his on his the hundreds of people who next raped him. to the him. image of the Bohemian <laughs> Owl. I would. Next to the image of the Knight Templar <laughs> plunging his sword into a bleeding earth. And it says believe right below the eye, as in believe. This is real, man. It's there almost you like go. his followers I mean, like, were called believers. He's got, owl, he's got the eagle. He's got the tiger. These are very strange, interesting things. Okay. Are they? And I'm just curious. And there's like a fallen angel. If you're schizophrenic, too. Like, what's that about? that's true. Mm. Everything is curious today. And then he gets yet another one. Who's he gets that another guy? Another one on his chest, which his is lover. a broken <laughs> cross, a Christian crucifix that was all busted up. Mm-hmm. So, there's like, one I'm thinking small to myself, crack on it. <laughs> you know, what is all this stuff? Where is all this going? Uh, D- Straight D- to Diddy. PD, this this famous PD. rapper <laughs> and producer. They told us to expect that the final things they're going to do... The you know, Ten Crack Commandments, but it's about ass. About, about, to happen. Okay, about, about getting to booty. One, two, and then all of a sudden, this four, guy gets five, arrested, six, and they show a picture of him. Seven, eight, guys. Three names. <laughs> on the same night after PD was arrested, what happened on that same night? Do you remember? Oh, that's right. It can't be anything more than just a random coincidence. Oh, okay. This boat has its lights go on and off three mm-hmm. times. It gets steered in just the right way that it hits the central column in just the right way, and the whole bridge. I'm comes on down board with the right it. Way. They hacked that boat. Oh, it does turn totally right random. into the bridge. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not what this source is telling us to believe. On that same day of March 26, they posted two black swans. Oh my God! First of all, and it says V has come to, which again ties in with all the stuff I've been telling you about the movie V, the, v, yeah. the original television series that there's mm-hmm. reptilians controlling the planet. Feeding on us right, the water right. and food. And they're communicating okay, to us via Justin graph. Bieber's tattoos. He has come to. That's that show. <laughs> and then on the same day, they posted turning Baltimore into a smart city. <laughs> it's a, you know, sometimes I, I do wonder, like, because you can get really deep into this shit, but it, I mean, it's it's ridiculous. Like, yeah, it's oh, very it, ridiculous. It's insane. That I, I do wonder if he ever stops and thinks to himself, like, maybe I, I, I can't tell the future by looking at... Ariana Grande's tattoos, or I mean, look, this album is covers. this is why the pandemic was able to break so many of these people is they were isolated and they didn't have anyone to go. Hey, that sounds kind of fucking stupid. And they had all the time in the world. Yeah, all the, and they just started focus. finding this shit start everywhere. Start to, uh, so here it is. This is it up close. And David's been stuck Baltimore like that for years. To progress to date, since twenty twenty. Yeah. By posting this, they are making an implication that some type of smart technology was used to steer this particular vessel to make this particular collision. And I do believe it was intentional because it happened on the same day this guy got arrested. That's exactly what they want. They want to make representative of P. Diddy getting arrested. Trying Maybe. to escape when they arrive. So he knows okay, it. but it, the, the problem with this is if that was supposed to be a distraction, it did not work. Everyone no. was talking about P. Diddy, and the boat kind of came and went pretty quick. Well, no one cares about Baltimore. Yeah, that's true. Also, Diddy and, didn't and actually try to leave as much as I wanted him to. So there's a picture from TMZ. No, his plane just went somewhere, I think. Yeah. And again, the implication is, yeah, this is a oh, black swan. black swan, and Baltimore. Said that, so Laura Logan. He did. He's uh, black. It, it's it's very very suspect, folks. 
because there's a lot of stuff that moves through here, a lot of stuff for the military, a lot of stuff for automobiles. Yeah, a lot of stuff for hazardous materials too. Yeah, it can be rerouted. Mm -hmm. But you know, this is strange. And then in addition to all this stuff going on, there's also the speculation about where is Kate Middleton? This video comes out <laughs> exactly. where supposedly it's her. I knew we'd get here. Supposedly <laughs> she says she's been diagnosed with cancer. But then I would have believed it, except that they said, you know, is it a deep fake? Oh, she's and, lying. Isn't that on? Cameron Mark Mancini, thank you. I'm kind of on board with this. The footage looks Probably suspicious. At least this is fun. Yeah. I, I try, want to get this done in three hours. At least so it's this fresh. Is this video <laughs> yeah, at least it's not something we've already heard wearing multiple the same times. Sweater, or almost the same. It's just that there's more. No one's ever worn video, clothes the, twice. The stripes no. go all the way to the edge. It's like David's PJ. Where the stripes stop and where the collar. That was her. She's a ghost in that picture. Uh, she, she has the same, <laughs> almost the same sweater, with her hairstyle bearing a striking resemblance. That's because it probably was the same hairstyle where she discloses her battle. So this Very good, implies David. what they're trying to tell you is it probably is the she's same. Not, she might be in some trial somewhere. She's not actually filming this. Oh, they got her. Some other technology. Right. She's speculation is arising that a deep fake or AI may have been crafted. What do you think? Now they're not telling you it's true, but they want you to think about it. Which means they want you to think about. Yeah, the they're idea just asking questions. I and can't believe she might be he thinks else. Shadow of Ezra is legitimate. On. So then they said, rate this Not just legitimate, he thinks this is the direct well, source. Oh, other people we're, are we're back to this. To a year ago, why am I not allowed to ask questions? Please stop. David, stop president. covering your mic. The royal family has a history of altering images, and we should have a right to question them. Beloved Vine He's worried should be people are listening. He's worried people are listening. He's worried people are listening. Is it a conservative view to think Kate Middleton's dead? I don't... I'm not sure that's terribly political, to be honest. I don't think it's politically motivated. But they want you to ask the question, and to me, that's very interesting. Then, getting up to the present now, they put out the three-word communication, Eagle, Evergreen, and Renegade. That's all. only those three words. It appears to represent Biden, Hillary, and Obama. Some type of maybe final plans that they're going to have to get these things done. And so there it is uh, on 27 oh, March. Oh, were those like their March. Secret Service we'll names? that one in just a second. Maybe. So Eagle, well, that's obviously associated with the president. Renegade, if you remember, was Obama's code name okay. uh, in the Secret Service. See, I can, I can Obama. decipher the breadcrumb. Well, His knew, code name was Nick. My journal, <laughs> and then later on that same day, they posted about it. Black March guys from Harlem, a giant word. Ship ran the <laughs> Canal, That's what David calls them. Yeah, in both we would never. For nearly Obama, what the hell are you doing, man? Word <laughs> ever given. And we're back to the <laughs> Suez Canal, the right? You effing N word. N word. How could you, David? Evergreen Marine. That's a so clip from his meeting with ever Obama. Given, if you look at the picture, you can see that the name of the company was Evergreen, and the side of the ship says Evergreen. So again, uh -huh. what happened is the ship we're, was going along. We're, it got we're just going back in time. Hours. And based on all of my to speculation, redo actually, all this. now we have it up close so you can see it even closer. Uh, oh, thank when you. When they blocked it, when the, this was probably an alliance operation, and they probably had people inside some of these containers on the ship. There was probably oh. some type of smuggling going on here. Oh, it the was children? very scary and very dark. And for those 19 hours, they were able to free everyone. And they probably wow. have, I'm going to just speculate on all the evidence here, a trail of evidence linking this back to this, this said individual. <laughs> uh, I want to remember, Obama? You know, remind everyone about uh, the Evergreen issue. Maybe. Who has or P. Diddy. Because the community knows uh, oh, it's not yeah, allowed yeah, maybe. to mention P. Diddy AC shipped in his and children. <laughs> stuff that's going on. Make sure you remind everyone. Whoa, he's just giving it to you. They've got some damning evidence from this. They've been holding on to it all this time. They rescued people out of these containers. It's probably what they're saying. Well, if it's we probably what they're Drano, saying. Who said, February 2024, White House puts out executive order to boost cybersecurity at U.S. shipping ports. March 24, giant ship loses power twice, aims itself directly at the bridge, destroys it, and closes down the 10th busiest U.S. port for 10 months, or for many months. We don't know how long yet. I'm sure it's just a coincidence. That was on March 27th. The next thing they posted, I think we're getting pretty close to the present. This might be the last one. An image of stepping out into the light. Wow. Yeah, like, that says you know, a lot. Yeah. 45, yeah. 47. That's really here. changing my view so on I things. So I just contrast enhanced it to oh. see if the shadow has anything in there. Enhance. It's shadow. When you get rid of the I mean, it shadow, looks, it's lighter. It looks, it looks worse. <laughs> Maybe we're going to learn about the Draco. Maybe there's some of these things. They did say V has come to. I'm just trying to make sense out of what this is. I really don't know. Um. Your guess is good. <laughs> anyway, now we go to this. Uh, the, the Baltimore thing just conveniently stops our best rapid wartime Is he fucking with us by being, being to get unwilling to say the nouns? Then we find out on the same day, March 29th, oh, we're just going to fire up CERN. It can't be possible that the deep state is censoring Baltimore no Harbor. I assume he just thinks it's like matter. magical, it you know, magical words. If he doesn't say it, they don't have power, maybe? Then they said this. That could, this, be, oh my God. That could be true. He's expanded it to so many different words now that I can't entirely tell. Well, yeah, that's why I'm confused. by a data broker. This data includes names. Oh, we can do it here. Names, addresses, and in some cases even passport numbers, 200 mobile devices of people who visited the island in the years prior to his so-called death 
left an invisible trail of data pointing mm-hmm. back. Oh man! Yeah, I mean he had three server houses. Their own home. God darn it! Ah! <laughs> People are pissed off. Ah! 166 <laughs> locations throughout the U.S. shows where the visitors likely lived and worked. Ukraine, Cayman Islands, Australia, Florida, Massachusetts, Texican, te- Texican. Hey, I'm from Texican, man. It's because it's been three hours. I'm almost done. Hold on. We know, Dave. Yeah, was, and New York. We're, we're right there. Mutual. Yeah, we're right there with you, buddy. From gated communities in Martha's favorite place. And who lives in Martha's favorite place? George right Washington. Damn it. I'm always wrong. <laughs> ah, and then here's another weird silhouette next to this guy. Wait, Jeffrey Epstein lived What's at Martha's about? Vineyard? Is that talking about some type of non I'm sure he had a house there. Specul- I have no idea. But there's a trail of that, okay? So the answer to this thread is that blankety blank and blank visited the island. Barack but because Obama of the notes, and Michelle I'm unable Obama. to directly say so, spread this post and mention da da da. Okay. Again, until I see anything or until I have the evidence, it's just hearsay. That's all it is. You would and, never. You know, oh, random kind of tweets. There's going on between these parties. They're just hearsay. I'm not really involved in it. I'm just a reporter. Woo! But it's got, I got to have some bravery just to talk about this stuff at all. Woo! But again, <laughs> it appears that the final three operations are getting ready to happen. It appears something's already happened in Britain. And we're getting ready for some type of big announcement, which directly is tied in with this Man, global he's really gone the loony. Boy, <laughs> has he. Yeah, this is so called wobble in the Earth's axis. I really hope he goes next week in now. All these ancient yeah. cultures by these two historians again, Santiago and Vanshen and Hamlet's Mill. Aggressively this was loony. Hancock, who wrote about this. For some inexplicable reason, at an unknown date, archaic myths from all over the world were co opted to convey information on technical details of the procession. So this is a typical grain mill, uh-huh. and you throw the wheat inside, and then you okay. roll the stone around, and it grinds yeah. it up into flour. Right. But this also represents the earth on its axis, and as the man spins the wheel what? and grinds the <laughs> grain, this is the symbol of the earth and the earth on its axis. Now, what's weird about this myth is that the mill keeps breaking at the end of the story, and then there's, in many cases, images of like a solar flash. But this, again, is how these intelligent extraterrestrial humans... Oh, they're communicating to us via do. grain mills. Okay. Oh, of course, through the, through the wheat. The original yeah. <laughs> Hamlet in Icelandic legend was no called wonder. Amlodi. Amlod is Hamlet. Amlod Hamlet. In uh-huh. Icelandic legend, what? he is an elusive carrier of fate who must yield. When his mission is accomplished, he sinks into the concealment of the depths of time. The lord of the golden age, the one and future king. After this weird event happens, that's when they're expecting us to transform. This essay, this is from their book now, Sexual follows assault. the hero further and yeah. farther away. Is that? Oh, I was, lands to Rome, Finland, I was Iran, trying to India. make a joke. I didn't he know that's what it actually <laughs> meant. Legends, and it stands for an astronomical process as the sun shifts through the signs of the zodiac, determining 2,160 year ages of the zodiac. Wow. Wow. Each age ends with a world era, a twilight of the gods. Great structures collapse. Pillars toppled that supported the great. I'm cavern. having significant deja vu. I feel like we've world. already done this we too. Clues, stars, I mean, it's, numbers, it's colors, more plans, than likely. Forms, yes. Verse and structures. A huge framework of connection is revealed at many levels. This is a true edifice, something like a mathematical matrix, a world image that fits the many levels. Grinding and all of it wheat. Is kept in order by yeah. Strict measure. Yeah, that's top secret <sighs> Let's info. Just take a breath. Wow, that's so heavy. <sighs> Edifice Rex. Not only do yeah, all dude, of that's heavy, bro. The yeah, journey, man. They're also, we can't all as, as these two historians found deal out, with the wheat information. The <laughs> big wheat. 25,000-year <laughs> cycle. Those damn grain <laughs> mills. As we showed you, has five <laughs> units Illuminati of Mayan calendar puppets. in it. And at the end of the Mayan calendar, what does the sun do? Whoa. It blows up. But mm-hmm. we're at the end of the Mayan calendar now, and Michael has told us that no, we were going to go we were, we were in twelve. Yeah, session, like literally said, 12 years ago. It's been a minute. Archangel Michael, as I've Over a decade. All of these different geometries have a node that converges at the end, okay. and all of the different Hero's Journey storylines merge into a global Hero's Journey. Oh, he is doing villain. the God equation the of fucking conspiracy. Every conspiracy is true, the and they're all converging again, into the like present moment. He's, he's, you know, he's uniting the multiverse. A spontaneous change, so Michael says, in the physics of our reality, and in this photonic geometric model, we can see that matter itself is made of geometry that can phase shift. So the atoms and molecules that make up your body literally have a harmonic change. Yeah. The very molecular material that you're made out of oh, the in molecular one terms material. will become a higher density. Your body is going to become different. It might not weigh as much. It might be lighter in physical strength. Oh, okay. But heavier in light strength. In fact, people apparently lighter are going to have light Lighter in heavy strength, but heavy so in light strength. So he says this is going to be a sudden, highly ecstatic upgrade. We expand into this realm of perfect bliss. Where your body feels very, very stretchy. Stretch you space. Can start to remember past lives. All of those different places and different cycles Everyone all start merging into that your joke for themselves. You become aware you know of where I was going with that. You get it. You yeah. get it. And now you can eventually be able to time travel into your own life 
What? And give yourself advice uh -huh. about what to do. Buy crypto. Time back <laughs> in your own life Save the Bitcoin. Don't spend it all on drugs, damn it. Don't drink the milk. Messages, people who show up at the right time and tell you something. Things like this video. Some part of you in the future. No matter how thirsty we are. To not be afraid. To not be scared. Don't go with Jimmy Seville to the basement. He's, he's going to Roger your bum. <laughs> and we're, oh, we already got eight minutes in past the hour. My yeah, God. we did. Let me read some of your comments so I don't feel totally rude. Keep on going another hour, says Nicole Goddess. War Angel says repentance is our friend. Uh, Earthwatch just put a video up saying CERN is running tests. Just be a good person, be in your heart chakra for this ascension, and you will be fine. I agree. Levitation, telepathy, chakras balance, third eye open. You're gay. <laughs> Ellie always wins. You should warn your audience, be fair, laughing my ass off. I'm not sure who Ellie is. <laughs> ELE, the extinction level event, maybe. Ellie DeGeneres. David, what do you think about the heifer sac or the red heifer sacrifice oh. looming over the there we go. conflict? I do believe the alliance is on this as well, and I okay, good. hope that all these warlike actions can be stopped because the whole thing is really, really scary and freaky. Yeah, war is terrifying. I just want peace. That's all I'm interested in. Okay, so in fact, the whole point is Who's let's reading do the Talmud? The, uh, global peace meditation <laughs> oh. so that we can try to get this stuff buttoned Holy up. Holy shit. Wow, but we made it. Oh, Sounds like a rapture. Not. Yeah, that's really what it is. Look into Sophie's I really want to teach him how to just read all his super films. chats. There's just a tab you need to click in you, YouTube Studio, Dave. They're right there. Happy to look into that. Stop like reading for people who don't pay. <laughs> with all of us. Thank you for answering. Uh, v has come to is a line from Metal Gear Solid 5. I did not know that. Thank you. But I think it also has all these other <laughs> Thank you for that top secret about. information. <laughs> Love your contributions to humanity. It says high vibes for wellness. Jamison Woodcraft says thank you for all you do. Linda Goitil says, this is the most exciting Goy time to be alive. This has uh, never uh -oh. been done. We are going through this prepared. I mean, yeah, this is so freaking amazing, folks. We're talking about a multidimensional evolution. He is what locked it means in. To be human. Boy, is he. We has it lost a, a minute of uh, to remember esteem. Who we were before, to hear other people's thoughts. If you're more advanced, you're going to have levitation. Being seduced by said, his eyes. He's, he's almost too locked in. in. Yeah. I think that's why he keeps going in Bible. circles. Read that before. It's in the book of Enoch. I read that at the end of the last show. It's in the Bible. It's in Hinduism. His teeth it's in look fake. I, mean, I think they're veneers. I mean, they are. I think I'm having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> the issue is, I think everything looks <laughs> fake. <laughs> I've heard all this before. <laughs> You're the opposite of David. Yeah. Yeah. None, none of this is real. He's like, it's all real. Glacial cycle. There's some kind of huge solar energy outburst. Whoa, it's crazy. My ears are ringing. My ears are ringing, says Kurt Heckinger. That's a sign of ET contact. The hero's journey. Oh, is okay. I thought it was because you've driven me mad. Yeah, or right. you the have tinnitus. Is the beginning of the hero's journey. He's got the pack on his back, and he just he's just naive, and he doesn't really know anything. David of Shield says, peace, love, harmony, and freedom. Margie Barrow says, thank you, David. You are really amazing. You help us so much. Uh, I'm glad Heather he's Wales getting says, good comments. Yeah, I'm happy for him. Uh, War Angel says, as a child, I dreamed over and over that I was levitating. <laughs> look at those PJs from far away. It didn't look like a football player. It looked like a cartoon guy on a rocket. Huh. <laughs> oh, no. About that. oh no oh my god a rocket you say it does i mean there is actually a of sort course of it does ancient astronauts there is say yes. yeah well now that you say that it looks nothing uh, whether like that a means rocket. anything no. <laughs> whether that means anything or not i don't know okay god having is. those um, is yeah it probably is so unsettling you know, stuff, it turns out the deep state any involved, single so grown man who has I'm a child's clothing in his house i don't trust yeah in a plastic bag not going to be earth changes the solar flash happened in proxy where are the bodies david yeah come on now right now i mean think about what's happening here think about the fact that the earth's inner you've ruined my ability to think i can't and i no longer can yeah i can't form a cogent thought source has played by the rules they've told us we're coming back as soon as you guys do these important arrests that need to get done. And I don't know if it's right away. There's probably going to be a period of time okay, where we're yeah, learning yeah. the truth. The I don't days know how long of darkness are coming. there is in between. But it can't be much more than a year because the deadline is Memorial Day 2025. Galactic family reunion and or solar flash, but a non-catastrophic one. This is so strange. I mean, I'm really very, very excited. And if the Alliance is getting ready to do something and they got evil, eagle, evil, right? Eagle, evergreen, and renegade are the last three operations that they're going to do. Mm-hmm. This stuff could be right around the corner. So again, make sure you got all your <laughs> yeah, supplies always on hand. Could. You got enough water. You got enough simple food, rice and beans. You've had enough water. I think yeah. <laughs> frozen bison steaks as equivalent to currency. So I have like over a hundred. What? He's got frozen bison steaks, dude. For currency. Well, he's gonna trade food. Okay, so after Biden gets arrested, we're all going to have to use bison as currency. We're gonna trade meats. Yeah, that steaks in my freezer makes a lot of. So sense. I could go a long time if something went down. I'm just gonna put that out there. 
and, and kind of tell you what's going on. David, so I you could probably last here, six months. Go past three hours and 15 minutes. You also so go crazy when it's too windy. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't think you're going to ride Thank out the apocalypse super chill. Here they are again. It's just constantly flowing through the entire show. It's really amazing. Whew. We still have 5,635 concurrent viewers. David, don't get me wrong. Thank it is amazing to keep that many people for three hours. He, he crushes, dude. Right. Yeah. Start on five. We'll go to three. To start. Okay, here we go. Global Peace Meditation. Mm, give me so your take money. Some nice deep breaths <laughs> now. Yeah. I'm going to drink some more water. Jimmy Seville. Please just hang in there with me. It's only going to be about two minutes. Very short. As you breathe in and out, imagine this living, luminous energy. <sighs> Fucking your butt. <laughs> <laughs> I've rebooted three times since you started. Thank you for all your time and effort. At and first, you don't like it, eyes. but after a uh, while. Love for all. Yes, David. James, we missed you. Loosens. Let us know the <laughs> results in the next video. Save the children. Thank you for sharing this moment, this most important information. That was yeah, from you. Tahana Music <laughs> within Butterfly Garden says, thank you, David. Have a happy Easter. And thank you again, everybody who did Super Chat donations. That's really awesome. I appreciate that. Please also, again, go to thedisclosure.com. Please give me slash, more. Yeah. You know, just thedisclosure.com. It's never enough. Course, Go to thedisclosuresummit.com slash David to sign up for my live event. We're also going to be doing video live streaming. I hope it's good quality. I think it will be. It won't so be. Corey setting it up. Yeah, it. yeah, so I wouldn't hold your breath, us. Dave. So again, it's going to be someone with a fucking set. iPhone in the back. I got my sizzle jacket for you guys. I got a pink shirt. I got orange. I mean, it's just all these beautiful Easter colors. I dressed up for you, and I deserve a little respect. Him saying, so oh, you deserve some respect because you dress like a homo. <laughs> well, speaking of which, I remember my brother... He had to do a, a religion project back in high school, and they had to interview people. This is before it was easy to edit video. Right. So they filmed a uh, at the end of their religion project <laughs> was footage of them in a car in Santa Monica, and there's a guy walking down the street in a pink polo shirt, and they just keep <laughs> going, you pink-shirted faggot. <laughs> you pink shirt uh, faggot. That's good stuff. Yeah, the, the early 2000s were a <laughs> time. Words. And for being so cool, they turned we'll that see in. You on the next show. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, everybody! That, that was, was a lot. That was a lot. I mean, that was four hours of our time. That was mm -hmm. intense. Yeah, and that was at increased speeds. Oh, I didn't even. Yeah, we probably would have gone like five, five six hours. Yeah, yeah. If, if we hadn't bumped that up, and now we got to set up the live stream potentially. Jesus. That should be much easier than whatever that was. A lot of work to do, folks. We're putting in the effort. Yeah. And to pay us for our effort, patreon.com yes. slash hidden plain sight pod. We will have, uh, you know, there's new episodes. Four, four episodes a month. Four yeah. extra episodes a month, sometimes more. Yeah, if we feel frisky. Yeah. Uh, at hidden plain sight radio on Instagram. You are at Brandon Steele Hidden on Instagram. We are at the Hidden Pod on Twitter. Who do? Mom bow.